It just hello, everyone. How's yeah. it going? Oh, hello. Hi. Oh. Howdy. Howdy, howdy. Uh, okie dokie. How's everyone doing? Did you guys miss uh, D&D yeah. last week? Simply yeah. Simply awful. Simply awful. Every it's time I miss sim it. Simply awful. Brett, have you turned us into a zigzag pattern to make more room? Yes. Oh, cool. I okay, wonder what he could like be accommodating. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, well, just, you know, just more like an ad banner at the bottom or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, they are. Yeah, I've decided to try a new staggered uh, pattern for no reason whatsoever. Winks at right. camera and chat and party. Everyone, everyone knows. Cars here. Here. I I can't believe I, I was trying to be all mysterious uh, a couple of weeks ago and I was like oh we got a special guest who knows oh and yeah. then the moment Sam gets off the call he's like guys it's Gerard we all know it's Gerard and I was like oh my god I can't believe he ruined <laughs> my surprise you had already said it the week prior I think you had said it oh it, uh, it, you, whatever it, you had said it the week what, prior whatever, whatever. on uh, air to look, the viewers hold on all right first of all <laughs> in, in my defense okay when do streamers ever keep their word so it, you never know you know that's that's all I'm that's all I'm saying you know it, it could have it something could have canceled something could have happened it was obvious and you did say I don't you know what I think we should just get to the I, game. I said you it. You picked this battle, but let's I just said it because I knew if I said it, it was locked in. There's nothing you could do about it. It was out. There's nothing you could do about it. Firstly, yes. I get to see my boy Gerard. Secondly, yes. you had already said it, mm -hmm. all right? And your dad mm -hmm. brain is coming at you now playing tricks on you. You okay. think it was a surprise, but it wasn't a surprise. You already Third told of all, everybody. when I said it, it was three weeks prior, so everyone was going to forget. <laughs> everyone, a chat can barely remember things week to week. Do you think they're actually going to remember three weeks no. in the past? That remembers everything. Their memory is yeah, fucking you're crazy. crazy. Bro. You think they forget? They're like a collective brain. They remember the things you don't want them to remember. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's get into it. Oh, side note, dude. Yes. Congrats on the fucking 100K. Uh, Thank you. Oh, oh, yeah, Brit. Thank you so much. I'm so very epic. We've been working uh, really hard on the fishing book, and I, <laughs> uh, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and check my business account, see how we're doing, because I'm, I'm spending money for the book as if we, uh, I've already mm -hmm. collected all the funding. <laughs> so yeah, I right. Like, I was like, we gotta fund it. We gotta, we gotta get everything done now, now, now. And I'm pushing art out. I'm pushing Upscale. writing assignments out. Let's go, let's go. And I look at my account. <laughs> I'm like, oh god, <laughs> like I'm so broke what happened where did all the money go <laughs> it's coming man it's coming i'm good for it i'm looking i'm i'm waiting for those eight days but thank you so much yeah it's uh it's been awesome and i'm i'm very excited this is our our next step in our in our ttrpg journey is just developing everything so yeah why does one just, book it's cost a really big book yeah, yeah. Uh, one book cost a hundred thousand. Um, that's the price tag, by the way, for one book. Thank it's God that cool. one guy kickstarted it. I don't know what we would have done without that one guy. <laughs> um, Wait, the yes. next book? Can you make Why Slay Dragons when you could be in an onsen? Uh, <laughs> that doesn't yeah. sound like it has to be bathing. Uh, uh, Why is that going to be a reach? noodling DLC? I want to catch fish with my hand. Uh, that's gonna be in the book already. It's called it's called oh Rage God. Noodling. I didn't even look at what he That's awesome. Yeah, it's 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 we got Rage Noodling and all sorts of levels in that. So that's great, we like that. Gotcha. As Hell for yeah. the as for the Onsen uh, question, hopefully I said that correctly. Um, we I do want to do a Wisley um, Dragons on cooking, farming, and also operating a tavern, and that could include a little bit of Hot Springs action. So. <gasps> It is, yeah. within, oh, damn. it is within it is within the realm of possibilities i just want to make books that's not just you know fight thing you know just nice nice wholesome books so the onsen can just be a, a subclass of the tavern i, I thought it was like <laughs> a subclass <laughs> i thought yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm playing the tavern race and i'd like to subclass you've got like the tavern, tavern you've got the onsen. inn you've got the no onsen. i i i see i see what you're saying i see what if it's like a like a race that's made out of like like hot spring water, like it's a hot spring water being. Mm. <laughs> we are so good at ideas. You should hire yeah, a, a, a hot spring ganassi. Is that what you're suggesting right now? You fucking freak. 
Oh yeah, hot spring ganassi, yeah! Oh my god, look, if... if Nothing if, but gold. If WoW can do <laughs> ale elementals, we can do hot spring elementals. I think that is something we can... We can absolutely go. Okay, okay, I'll shut up. Yeah, no, no, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're it's, good. It's, it's actually gold, though. It's it's solid, yeah. No, there are no bad ideas. <laughs> Bath water ganassi. Stop. <laughs> That's pretty great, though. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, is that a new is that a new race? <laughs> no, it's not. It is not going to be. Chat. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's do the recap because it has been a week and you guys are in this lovely memory amalgamation area. <clears throat> um, let me pull up my document here and then we will, we will get to it. You find yourself within the memory amalgamation, a location within your collective minds, thanks to a ritual spell cast by Brulvek. Discover and unlock sealed away memories within both QB and Olive. Much like a dream where truths are veiled in mystery and befuddlement, the party awakens on a dock where the waters are replaced with a strange nightmarish substance. Before them, a town known as Kreshos, while historically a location that had never existed, the city of Brigands combines various aspects of your previous lives' histories. You meet up on the dock with a, tra uh, with a traveling merchant by the name of Brumhilda, who is interested in setting up a shop here in Kreshos. As you question the, loca uh, the locales, their conversations have topics that end in a distorted noise. The amalgamation can only put together memories of your previous lives, with some gaps able to be filled while others are not. Entering a nearby tavern, uh, you meet uh, with a meek barkeep, a baker with a friendly demeanor, and overwhelmed by the patrons, with your party not making it more manageable. QB feels a connection with this barkeep as if meeting with an old friend. <clears throat> Pirates gather outside the tavern in a makeshift town square to prepare for the captain's speech. As a hulking half-giant named Captain Ironside emerges from the building with someone bound in a potato sack, a shadowy individual follows him, one's figure you saw once upon a time in Frostfell against the Shadow Demon. Captain Ironside preaches about redemption against those that have fallen from Light's grace. The prisoner bound will be cast off from the Tower of Divinity unless one would take their place. There, the barkeep offered himself as replacement for the bound individual. Quickly, the dreamscape, the dreamscape became a nightmare as a dark fog fell over. Pirates quickly grabbed the barkeep as he was pulled into the mist, the laughter of the pirates becoming more sinister as haunted images of agony appeared, fighting against the party. Freed from her bindings, the former prisoner, an elvish sorcerer, or sorceress, Aided into raw energy, a light of comfort, heading within the young QB, to whom she seems to have a connection. The spirit of the sorceress guided QB into battle against the nightmarish creatures. After the bat a battle easily won, the fog faded, and the city of Kreshos grew eerily silent. Anything I missed uh, from you guys that um, I need to touch up? I don't think not on my end. I don't think of anything. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, then we return back to the scene. Yeah, we uh, we filled up on a giant drawer of cheese. Just need to oh, yeah, sure. and they yeah. drank. Oh, yes, I do remember yeah. that to the inventory. They shouldn't be <laughs> drinking, but... Yes, there was yeah, drinking and merriment. In a giant drawer of cheese, yes. All right. Uh, we return back uh, to the city. Oh, and we got that subclass power-up thing. Oh yes, you did uh, win uh, a memory. Oh, we have to spend it. Yes, a, a fragment of memory. Oh, that's right. You've obtained. Uh, let me yeah, go we have ahead. to spend it at the lady at the dock or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's correct. Uh, let me just real quick. Uh, is it Which here? I remember last week I was like, I want sun punches, but then mm -hmm. I remember that this week I think I'm turning into Quaff, so I do not want sun punches. Well, I mean. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. So. Um, because of this memory amalgamation, uh, currently we have, uh, the elvish sorceress over here who is sort of like a spirit, a specter of her guiding QB. Uh, QB, uh, you also learned the spell Ice Knife, uh, from the elvish sorcerer that has bound themselves to you. Uh, for the abilities that you can pick up, just in case it wasn't clear, this is a permanent reward. 
So not only do you get this Wait. in the dream, this is something oh. that you will keep outside of it. <laughs> I thought as well. this was just a dream power. Nope. Okay. This is a permanent upgrade because oh, you will not you will not be finding uh, items within a, a dreamscape, the memory amalgamation. Mm -hmm. uh, instead, you can unlock uh, abilities of what could have oh, been fuck. a potential path. So yes, these are permanent upgrades. I'm once oh, again petitioning for Sunfist. <laughs> we, we only took one person so far, right? Uh, correct. Where do, we, where do we see the options again? Because um, I didn't get the pop-up nope. if you guys did. Did you not get the pop-up? Yeah, I'm not getting pop-ups. be in your journals so. tab. Yeah, journals, let, me, okay. let, me, let me try again. Which is the book icon in the top right. I don't know why it's not showing up for you, bud. Yeah. It's okay, man. He's Benji, why don't you have these pop up? I have pop-up blockers, sorry. Well, it's not yeah. a. It's a pop up in the game. It's not a pop up yeah. window, so it can't. I'm not gonna buy you your, in your product, journal. Brad You're not gonna buy the book. <laughs> My propaganda. <laughs> Jesus. No, no, no. I, just... I found it in the journal. Okay, cool, awesome. So you can check that out. So yeah, if you guys want to peruse that real quick, um, for the artificer, um, a lot of the el a lot of the things that you can choose are just different elements from all the other subclasses. Uh, that you can get yourself involved in, involved into. Um, the I don't think anyone in this group is currently multi-classing, but you must be a minimum of third level uh, to acquire any of these class features. Just FYI. I don't think I've ever multi-classed in D and huh. I guess I'm just not fun. that like build oriented. Mm -hmm. I'm build brained. You hit a point in yeah. D and D where you've played every class once, and then you go, "It's time." Yeah, but there are so many subclasses that are also different. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you get to mix and match. It's fun. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, oh, let me uh, unpause as well. Um, but yes, the town itself uh, has returned back to its its foggy-like state, uh, but it is completely devoid and empty uh, of its people within the, this once-upon-a-time crowded town square. Uh, I will also be turning off Rage from Kopi. And a final little check, Brett. Do we yes. see the, the floating fella behind QB? Hmm. What is your wisdom score? Oh, jeez. <laughs> My wisdom is 12, so plus one. No, you do not see it. Okay. You will need a wisdom score. Dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, my intelligence is 20, so. Uh, to see the specter. <laughs> my intelligence is 20. Just... You got book smarts, but no street smarts, kid. <laughs> You've been saying to that, that to me, IRL, for so many years. <laughs> it's true, yeah, it is actually true. <laughs> Go to. Bree can back me up. <laughs> no, it's not true. <laughs> oh, it's not? No. No. He's very street smart. It's... She's not convincing. <laughs> I've only been mugged five times. So. <laughs> God, in, in the UK, and that's I really good. Wallet three times. <laughs> yeah, in the UK, that's actually incredibly that's good. Really good, <laughs> man. Dude, you that's must nice. got good legs on you or something. <laughs> <laughs> you must got some street smarts, dude. Congrats. Um, if you see the specter behind QB, you must have a wisdom score of 14 or higher. So, I don't know uh, who who that me. is. Yeah, um, that's me. Wait, 14 or higher? 14 or 21. higher. 21. Me. Yep. Looks at character sheet. Looks at, <laughs> looks at me. QB yeah, sees nothing. I barely pass. Smiles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, to check everyone, that would be, that'd be Remo and Olive. Yes. I see it, and I do not say anything. <laughs> What is Olive's uh, stance uh, as she sees the like, a ghost following around QB? She's gonna kind of like rub her eyes and blink and like squint at it. And then just because of all the weird shit that has happened around QB lately, she's just gonna be like, okay. <laughs> we're not gonna, we're not gonna talk about the, uh, the, the, the literal ghost in the room. Huh? Y'all don't see that? I wow. see it. It's behind QB. Yeah, you don't see it? It's like haunting her like a like a fan. Haunted. You guys make another old joke. No, I don't appreciate not that. this time, Mr. Howie. What do you mean okay. ghost behind me? Look. Do you not see it? 
Yeah, do you look do you, if you look over your shoulder, do you not see like a fucking JoJo stand? Uh, behind QB, you? even though <laughs> QB, even though that your wisdom is a ten, you do see the specter that is, that is attached. Oh, I can see her. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's 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 with you. I only have a ten wisdom. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're you you're your you're the exception oh. to the wisdom rule. Um, excuse me, who are you and what do you want from us? Are are you talking to me? No, I'm talking to the ghost behind you. Uh Kopi, you do not see it. You have a wisdom of twelve. Oh wait, fuck. I was I uh, Well I mean you could be saying stupid. that, right? You um, can't see I, it. Because people are saying it's there. That's, oh, that's true. Yeah. You can still say that. You can exactly talk what vaguely towards it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, people do that on those ghost watching yeah, TV that's shows. True. That's, 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 true. that's true. That's true. That's true. Into the air. Uh, that's true. Kobe starts to squint her eyes. I can totally see it, yeah. Kobe, <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing there. there. Wait. You got are you talking about. He, uh. She like looks around to try to see what they're talking about. Like, oh, you mean? Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Who are you? But actually, she kind of feels like she knows her at the mm -hmm. same time too. Mm -hmm. Does Luna talk, or does she only talk in Kiwi's mind? I leave that uh, to you. Oh. How you you wish to handle it. Why is there a ghost following me? Kopi, is this like the 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 sword that you are always talking to? Do you have <laughs> a ghost following you too? Well, he's more than just a ghost. He's an asshole sometimes, but Wait, you have um, a ghost too? Not exactly. It's kind of hard to explain. Um Are we, are we all haunted? Is it, are we haunted? Oh, God. Is there a haunting? You know the gold is kind uh, of ghost one of my ancestors, and, uh, he's kind of mad at me for... <laughs> What'd you do? A very Why long he time. Why is mad at you? And, uh, -oh. uh, he's kind of cursed inside of the armor that I'm wearing. Is it gambling? <laughs> is that the affliction? I yeah, don't want to talk about it. Gambling is an affliction. She starts walking away. Oh... Wait, so he's stuck inside of her armor? Wait, Wait so is that why she doesn't now. take off her armor? Wait, is that why she wore armor in the hot springs? Wait! <laughs> that, that's all I got. She turns yes. back and she... You no might be right. right. She turns back and she does, like, you know, goes to, to say something, but she stops herself and then she turns back around and starts walking again. It's okay to gamble. One time I gambled and I lost a cow. So I understand. <laughs> she yells out. <laughs> Maybe so this this ghost is not the same. Gonna be a problem. Oh, it's fine. I she with like you. Her. Well, maybe. I I I don't know. I um. Uh. Also. They don't. <laughs> so um. Just kind of to let you know what's going on when it comes to interacting with your previous characters, whether you decide them to be a specter that guides you or you do inevitably uh, become them. Uh, I leave it up to you how you guys wish to tell that story because that is your story to tell. However, if you're finding difficulty coming up with the answers and you would like me to answer for you, um, I am willing to offer that up as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. So she can interact with, with. Can she only interact with the people that can see her? Uh, I would say yes. I would. I would say okay. the that would be the only only thing she could interact with. Mm hmm. Okay. Um. Let's see. <laughs> if you if you would like her to interact with others, yes. I think at first she's she doesn't interact with the others. Mm. I think she's just kind up. of. Yeah. Um. Uh. Maybe she whispers to QB something like, um, if it's all right by you, I'm just going to stay with you for now, okay? Oh, uh, yeah, that's okay with me. Um, it, she says it out loud so everyone can hear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's okay. You can come with me. And, uh, 
But she looks over at Olive and she said, So you can see this lady next to me? Yeah, I can. And you can see her too. And I think Remo can too. Remo can see? But he's a rabbit. Oh, do rabbits not have good sight? I... <laughs> what are you guys whispering about? Nothing. Nothing. You're, um... His you know, I got very good, good hearing and decent <laughs> eyes. Yeah, his ears are very big. I, I think um, they're compensating for something. <laughs> maybe, he, uh, maybe he has really bad eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. He doesn't always see things. Like he, that time he got stuck under a rock. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. really see what that has to do with this. <laughs> well, you wouldn't see, would you? That's the whole point. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> She's gonna high five Howie. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so do you know her, QB? You know, it's going to sound very weird, but I feel like I know her. But I I don't know how, because are we dreaming right now? Maybe. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, elf lady, what can I call you? Luna. Uh, Luna? Um... Where did you come from? Mm. I think I came from a place a long time ago. This land, but just many, many years ago. Oh, that is really weird. How old are you, Howie? Um, 72 years and a couple of days. I thought you were 30. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can't keep up with the lies. That's flattery, self-flattery. Sometimes oh. I tell that to myself to get through the days. Oh, Mr. Howie, that's do you know sad. this lady? Were you alive when she was alive? I have no idea who you're talking to. Oh, oh. he can't see her. <gasps> oh, oh, I see. Yes. I see. And you're not playing pretend right now. This is real. No, it's real. I can it's see her. Real. Okay, She's he's gonna standing. like nudge Artie and she, he starts beeping, kind of like a little ghost detector. But Artie's <laughs> not detecting any EMF waves, so... I'm, you know, I'm, Wait, I'm, I'm not I know gonna say I, you I, don't see it. I can what? prove that she's missed. here. I saw this one time. Olive's gonna get out her notebook and put it on the ground in front of Luna with a pencil. Okay, <laughs> write something in the book. I'm gonna walk away, so it's you know it's not me. Close my eyes. <laughs> can can she do that? Can she pick up the pen and write? Do you, do you uh, want me to answer, or do you want to answer for you? Oh, I mean, I'd like to answer, but I it, yeah, no, it's up I, to you. It's up to you. To, oh, does she okay. have like a tangible form? Is she corporeal? Can is she, she corporeal? She is not <laughs> uh, because of um. Uh, Laura's description, she is not corporeal, but... Okay, okay. okay. If, but she might be able to interact with her. But, yes, if uh, if that is what Laura would like, uh, she oh. can interact with some objects in a ghostly fashion. Oh, okay. Ooh. I guess she'll pick up the the pencil and she'll draw... Um, she'll actually draw a picture of Piquel. Is that... Oh! Oh my right? gosh, yeah, she'll yeah. draw a little Piquel picture and oh. then push it back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Amazing. And Kiwi says, who, who is this? Olive, Olive. Uh-huh. Uh, she wrote something. This person looks very ugly. <laughs> <laughs> this drawing is awful. <laughs> this is ugly. <laughs> what is that creature? It's I don't green. know. Why I've never green? seen something so weird in my life. But hey, she drew something. Luna, what are you drawing? She she doesn't like it. You hear <laughs> this haunting bell that echoes through the town square. Oh, I was wondering what that was. And the <laughs> and the picture looks back at Olive. Oh my god! Weird. Uh, I feel weird. <laughs> Yeah, so do I. <laughs> Did it just look like the pencil was floating in the air for you, Mr. Howie? 
did it look like the pencil was floating the FD, oh bro? I mean, <laughs> if it was, if, if you were looking at the pencil, then yes, you'd see it move. Okay, I admit the pencil was kind of weird, but lots of things are weird in the dream realm. Yeah, right? it was really that hard to believe that there's a ghost in the dream realm. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's a dream ghost. You know? Yeah, exactly. I dream of ghosts scientific. all the time. I yeah. dream of the afterlife all the time. Luna there's something picks you want to like, talk about, man. He nope. picks up Howie's. Um, wait, what is the na the name? Artie. 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 She picks Artie. up how um Artie, and kind of like starts posing him to do a little dance. Inconclusive. <laughs> Artie dances all the time. Artie. <laughs> okay, maybe error, not like error, that. Artie. Error, error. Artie oh, respond. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Please, fiend. My please, please stop. Messing with my child. Luna's <laughs> giggling. <laughs> she puts she puts Artie back down again. Thank you. Oh. Luna, you you can move objects even though you're a ghost. Yeah, sometimes. Um, who who are all of you? Um. Uh, Okay, everybody, even if you cannot see the ghost, um, maybe you... I don't want to meet your ghost. Maybe oh, you on. can introduce yourself to her because she wants to meet you. She's really nice. She is really nice. Uh, Artie introduces themselves. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> Olive will curtsy and bow. I'm <laughs> Olive. That's She's going to glare at Howie. <laughs> oh, for right. Next. <laughs> Sorry. If he's going to like stretch his wings out a little bit. Howie here. <laughs> can you explain? Can, can, like, can you please explain? <laughs> can you explain how Kopi like walks up <laughs> during all this? <laughs> Okay. Okay, then let me go back. No, 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 no. You're good. I just, I just want to know what it looks like. Yeah. She, she's like given that like kind of sus look in her eyes as she's like, you know, like she's, she's like kind of like borderline uh, caratish. So she's like kind of given that like, like, kinda, uh, sus eyes, like walking us. Like you know, she's really trying. So you can tell that she's trying so hard to see what they can see, but she's trying not to let them know that. Uh, <laughs> Um, and then she just mutters under her breath. I'm Kopi. <laughs> nice to meet you. And she's, she's looking here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is she not there? Oh, she's there. She's there right in front of me. Oh, oh in front of you. Oh, of course she's in front of you. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. She, she now looks back over here. Your friend... Say, why is it hiding from half of us? Uh... Uh... Oh. Let's ask her. I, I'm. I guess I'm not hiding. I just. I'm not quite sure what to make of all of this. I. Um. You see, I was just kidnapped by that big, iron, iron guy. You know, the big <laughs> pirate over there. Um. Uh -huh. And. <clears throat> I kind of don't know where I am right now. Okay, I was hoping. Hmm? It... Oh, can... <laughs> can... wait, we, can, we can't see her, but we can still hear her. Look, you know, no, we can't hear her. No, no, you guys she, can't yeah. hear anything. No, you can't oh. hear anything. So oh, okay. Everyone's like talking. nodding, and everyone's just staring at Silas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody, she said that she was kidnapped by the Iron Man, the Pirate Man, and now she doesn't know where she is. So. I think she's kind of lost, like us. Yeah, didn't you hear Tontu? Jeez, why does she have to repeat herself? <laughs> True. Oh, Kopi, I'm glad you can hear her also. This is good. Um. She, like, gets taken aback as she said that. And she's, like, not sure how to, like, answer that. <laughs> oh, so she... Luna whispers a bunch of stuff to Kopi really... Or QB really quickly. And... Kibi says, well, I don't totally understand, but I think she is actually a pirate. And she and her friends were on this pirate ship 
and they got separated. Um, and she's been looking for her friend who, two friends who are captains, sailing captains. Um, oh. and Wait, so man... you're saying it, it, <laughs> it's not just a dream ghost, but it's a dream ghost pirate? It, yes. What does this <laughs> have to do with us, though? I don't know. Maybe time will unfold the true story at hand. Ooh. <laughs> why, why do you say that like room? you know something? Oh, I don't know. I just thought it'd be a theatrical thing to say. Well, we did come into the dream world to help QB and Olive, so, uh, you know, maybe this is the start of it. That's the yeah. spirit. Here's your mouth well, why do we have like, to help a ghost? I forgot. <laughs> that man was your boyfriend? <laughs> She's t- QB starts laughing. <gasps> oh, I understand now. <laughs> I guess that guy who worked in the bar who made bread... He's the boyfriend of her, so... Oh, he was really nice. He was really nice. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. As the D- as- as the DM who did not know this and just left it open for whatever everyone wants to say. You open the door. Canon now. Laura, you were saying that Luna and Nicholas were- 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 were a thing, were an item, were together. Oh, we're- I- I, I, I left. No, I left. It, I left it up to you. I totally left that up to you and how you. Oh, I just assumed that because they went off to. As you I, see, I, as you see, I, chats. I'm here for it right it's now. Canon. I'm here yeah. for fresh it. Fresh cannon. Fresh cannon. Shandy relationships thriving. Yeah. Let's go. And no, no. I mean, that's and like I said, it's your story. So that's great. So yeah, mm-hmm. I, as as also a viewer, I'm just like. The oh. bingo is gonna pop off later, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How could they have known? The wiki, the wiki entries are just immediately. They dated. They dated. <laughs> OTP. OTP. All right. Uh, anyways, yeah, continue. Um. So, do you need our help? Uh. Well, if you happen to find a captain, um with a, a big beard and a larger-than-life personality, Captain Layton or Captain Armstrong, I would love if you could take me to them. Mm, I don't know any captains, but... Remo, w- were you ever captain of something? No. Maybe captain of carrots or something like that? <laughs> Why, is that because I'm, I'm a rabbit? I- yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was not captain, captain of, of Harris. <gasps> I'm a captain of a ship. Oh, wait, <gasps> that's oh. true. I am Captain Howie of the Apterek, my own ship built with my own hands and Artie's hands. Wow, wow. that's right, I forgot. Oh. Are you looking for me, uh, QB? <laughs> um... I think we wouldn't be here if we were looking for you. <laughs> I think she said that he had a beard. I have a I beard. Mean, uh, it's more you of a do? plumage. I have a beard, yes. Those are feathers. It's a feathery one, but a beard nonetheless. Mm, no. Is your name Captain Layton? Your secret name? Um, <gasps> gosh, I mean, what what did I go by? <gasps> I go by so ago. many names. So many. So many Whoa. to choose from. No, that's not him. It's definitely, he's not an owl. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's, maybe they're thinking about me. Uh, she said he's not a, an owl. Well, that's cool because I'm an owlin. He's mm. not no, an owlin not either. <laughs> okay. Um, she asked, is it okay if she comes with us uh, while we are explore this area? I mean, we don't really have much of a choice, right? She's incorporeal. Well, well, she's also that? really half nice. Half of them can't even see Thank yeah. you, Tantu. Um, Tantu, you, you don't even know what's going on. You can't see shit. She's really so nice, though, Tantu. He's being nice and helpful. Um, Luna, they said you can come with us if you want to. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to come along. Um, And... Thank you for having me. I'll try not to be a bother. Oh, you don't be a bother. No, no, no. We are very friendly people. Animals. People. 
Uh, uh, we don't even know what we are. Remo, what are you yeah. doing? Yes, you just started. What's this, like... what's this uh, dream croissant? That's the croissants. <laughs> so, so those are pumpkins. pumpkins. They look like pumpkins. Those, pum those are pumpkins. I'm telling I you that yeah. now. Yeah, now yeah, I yeah. see the pumpkin. But yeah, yeah, dream dream it's the dream croissant. realm, bro. You can yeah. manifest. These are my dream croissants. <laughs> so you pick up the pumpkin, but it has the texture of the croissant. Oh, whoa. 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 <laughs> whoa. My mind can't handle this. Fresh baked and flaky. Oh, dude, I want a croissant. Dude, I want a croissant right now. I want a croissant right now. Remo, you see something to... sparkle over in the window here. Ah, with my special eyes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you... What do you see with your special eye? So my this. <laughs> so as you all are talking, uh, Remo, you'll walk, kind of like walk over into this building. And it feels weird because as you stare into the window of the building... You'll see it has no floor or nor walls in the back as the that sort of nightmarish fluid ocean just is beyond as if this is just like the front of a building with nothing uh, on the inside as you stare into the window. Ah, uh, it's like one of those North Korean like fake grocery stores. <laughs> yeah. And but something catches your eye, specifically your reflection. Oh. As you'll look into the window and just kind of like refocus your eyes to that expecting to see your own you will see that of uh, a rather large portal what the oh, and as you all hear that chime r r echo into there and you're staring at the window you will feel your muscles begin to tense your entire body seize and lock up and while everyone's sort of like talking over here to 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 the uh, the <laughs> ghost you just immediately find yourself on the ground writhing but but quiet as you feel a transformation overcome you oh <gasps> oh that's right <laughs> And you, as you reappear, as you, as you like, sort of like, your the mass begins to build out. You, I think, your fur completely falling off, and making sure that you do have vision. You do have. Vision. I've got vision. Yes, uh, you are on the ground now. Ugh. What the hell? Do we Ugh. see this? Uh, it depends Aww. if you guys would look to the north or if you're still talking with Luna. I have a question. <clears throat> yes, right. I've yes. been. I would say during this duration, Tontu has been trying to uh, reach his patron and and resummon Timmy. Would I be able to do that, or would that be unreachable in this location? Currently, it is unreachable. Okay. Mm. Would. Happened. You hear a sound oh. of another person oh. off to the north. Who's that? Hello. What's, What's taking that? you guys so long? As you'll watch as this turtle is just hobbling over to you. Turtle. She, uh, Kopi will draw her, uh, spear. Defensive positions, everybody. What the hell are you guys doing? Doing. Love you. What do you mean? On the bench. It's me. Portal. What? You who? <laughs> what do you mean? He's going to look down at his hands. <laughs> oh. Oh, what, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh, I just need to ask something really quick. Yeah. Uh, is this like a like a hybrid voice of this character yes. and uh, Rebo? Yes. Oh my yes. god. <laughs> it's me, Remo. Uh, what? I don't think so, buddy. I don't you? know what's going on. She starts. But this is some dream. Bullshit. Hmm. I don't remember him talking like that the last time I met him. Reba! Uh, wait, no, not Reba. Um, okay. Uh, uh, answer me this. 
What is the f my most favorite thing in the world? I don't know. I don't pay attention. It's Remo! Oh him. my god, it's actually yeah. Remo! <laughs> don't do sniff him. Does he smell Remo-ish? Wasn't oh Claw it, 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 like a relatively Remo. like Remo. tall turtle? Yeah, he was like yeah. six foot. Something. He was a big yeah. turtle. Oh yeah, he was a big old turtle. Yeah, yeah. I'm sniffing. Um, he's, what, are what are you doing? He's, he's sniffing. Stop. Smell oh. Remo. Whoa. How is ah. this possible? Wait, I, I guess we are in a dream. No. I had a dream round bullshit. I feel sluggish. Did you always wish you were a turtle deep down? No. I are thought I sure? heard you said you wish you were a turtle. I thought so too. Many times in your sleep, maybe I distinctly once. heard. Well, have you that. ever heard uh, the yes. tale of the, of the tortoise oh, and the hare? So. The tortoise and the hare. He wanted yeah. to win. Oh my god. He just, I guess Remo just always was looking Guys, for that one. This way. isn't funny. <laughs> you know, I, I kind of <laughs> like you like this. Maybe you should stay like this. I don't think you can punch when you're a turtle. Turtle. Oh my gosh. Can, can uh, you even punch? punch? I mean, like, he's... fun. Yeah. As he wags his, his staff around, <laughs> uh, his staff, you'll notice, has the head of a serpent. Ugh. He's going to drop the snake staff. <laughs> <laughs> That's it just it, the staff just drops down to the ground. Oh, you guys, Luna says she knows him. She oh. she had tea with him one time, and she made tea out of the mushrooms on his back. That's weird. <laughs> the mushrooms on tea. my. Oh. He's gonna crane his neck over <laughs> under his back. <laughs> You'll just see Ooh. old <laughs> mushrooms that have been <laughs> there. <laughs> Oh, you do have mushrooms growing out of your bar. Dirty. Well, there's a fountain <laughs> right there. You should take a bath. Nah, you're probably right. Oh god. He's gonna walk really <laughs> slowly over. Oh no. Wait, don't Why take the mushrooms off. So long? It's part of your body. How long do you think it will take him to get over there? One Mississippi. Wait, Mississippi doesn't exist. <laughs> One state of Mississippi. It's kind of just like a made-up word, Ohio all now. of like came yeah. up with. Yeah, you, you Mississippi. Can, you... <laughs> <laughs> he dips uh, his hands in the water and then he tries to reach the back of his shell and he can't reach too good. You would. Then he gives up. You know what? Just be, just because it's fun. Uh, the saying will be one pickle, two pickle, three pickle, four pickle, and it's amazing. And it's based that's on, canon. It's yes, canon. that's correct. It's based. It's a, it's a little nursery rhyme. Who is Mississippi? <laughs> <laughs> it's based that's off. That's actually great. It's yeah. based off of an old goblin uh, nursery rhyme from the pickle religion, uh, where oh you would count your pickles in the jar. Amazing. And, and, I start and, counting pickles. Yes, and chill and, and children. Would do that before they would go before they went to sleep. They would usually fall asleep in the middle of the count. Oh my god, that's adorable. <laughs> there it is, more canon. <laughs> the pickle religion is canon, by the way, because uh, Jesse's character uh, has a pickle, a little pickle rosary. Awesome, pickle anyway. rosary, nice. Anyways, continue. <laughs> well, like pickle bead or whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, continue, guys. I don't want to be like this. Neither do I, but now you know what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to walking a mile in my shoes. Yeah, Emma. but I'm going to wake up eventually. Uh, can yeah. you, you say the show. same? I can say the same a lot quicker than you can, it seems, yes. You're Dang. pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what, what do we call you now? Do we do we call you a Timo? What do you mean? Oh, it is happening Timo. because we ate Still the croissant Remo. pumpkins. <gasps> Wait, is it the croissant, croissant pumpkins? I think but, so. But I saw him eat it. you're not Remo. But I'm still me. All I know is I saw my reflection up here. Yeah. There's nothing over here. 
And exactly. You just, and you just see your new reflection. Um, God. <laughs> Kopi, as uh, <laughs> you look in, uh, same description that I gave Gmar before, where you kind of are looking at what appears to be the shell of a building. Hmm. Okay, well, you're crazy. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, yeah. I can clearly see something's wrong with me. Well, you know, you, you're the one. We're in a dream world. Of course there's something wrong. You, All you right, don't. fine. I, let's get to the bottom of this. <laughs> yeah, so uh, after, after you, Speedy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right, gang, I, I think we need to plot a destination. I think we need to choose somewhere to go. And yeah. this courtyard's kind of overstayed its welcome for me. Um, if this QB, turtle man is here, he can't go very far, right? QB, What's you, that you, supposed to mean? QB, you, you'll remember the uh, barkeep telling you that is, there was trouble, that he left the bar unlocked so that you can get <gasps> oh. away. Oh, oh he yes, yes. didn't leave yes. it unlocked. I kicked the lock off. Oh, I remember this conversation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Once again. Well, he was able you know, to lock it because it's a dream door. <laughs> I hate the dream realm. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, the door that we came from, it's unlocked now. I remember Nicholas, uh, he opened it before we left. So maybe we can go that way. And to answer <laughs> your question, Turtle, because you have short legs. <laughs> My legs are not any shorter than anybody else. It's open. It's In open. Fact, oh, good. My legs are longer than most of you. She was done with that sentence like two minutes ago, dude. Come on. <laughs> I love the yeah, fact that. Nice, okay. <laughs> I love the. I, I. I just love the fact. Um that Howie is now just talking a lot faster because he's talking a... way <laughs> faster to come. Yeah. He's got a metric to like, you know, compare himself to now. That's so good. Come on, Dre Dreamo. Uh, Dreamo. Oh, come on. That's oh, good. Yeah, that's, that's good. good. Dreamo. Shit. That was good. I don't condone that's that. That's good. Dreamo. Hmm. Luna. Where are you? Uh oh, I lost my ghost. No, it's, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna do RPG rules, and spirit's just gonna go right. It's it's for convenience, <laughs> party goes yeah. inside party. <laughs> it's in your wrist, like lock it or something. <laughs> uh, the wasn't bar. there wasn't there a door like here? There was a doorway yeah. over here, I believe. Right down here. Oh, well, there. Well, what's the thing? No. Did, wasn't there like a back room up here? Wasn't there? Yeah. yeah. Like an, uh, so as you like go over to push the door, you'll feel it slam against the wall. Ah. As if there was I, no room back there at all. I think this was a fake door. I, I think your ghost. Uh, what? Well, no, sorry. I think the ghost guy that ran the bar was lying to us. He Are wouldn't sure? lie. She's a very honest person, I think. But then why did he say something that isn't true? Oh, maybe you just need to try the door again. Okay. <laughs> Tries the okay. exact same door again. <laughs> it slams and bends against the <gasps> wall that is now, behind now, it. See, he's definitely a liar, because <laughs> I distinctly remember. I, I mm. remember things. <laughs> Maybe we can go out the front door? It's a dream. Oh. Nothing may be as it appears. He talks so slow. <laughs> I can't I'm help it. it. <laughs> Just roasting this guy the entire time. <laughs> yeah. Um, as you all approach out to the dock, uh, you will see it empty, completely devoid of life and people. Um, but you'll notice off in the distance, approaching the dock at a rather rapid speed, a ship is at its approach. Oh. <gasps> and as you stare off into towards the ship, you'll see the vision get just a, a, a little dis distorted, 
um, a little darkened as the fog turns over into that purplish hue. And you'll hear it again. And the cackles of the nightmarish creatures. Oh no. And I'll have to roll initiative for each and every one of them. Oh. Huh? Production value, production value, production value. I see, I see pink, I see amaranths, I see magentas. <laughs> I, I and see shades and pinks hues. of red. <laughs> <laughs> red roses too. Red roses Wait, do they, too. Do they see that? I don't hmm? Hmm? Well, I don't know what you see, man, but I see pink. I got specialized. I don't know about you. I like how uh, your oh, accent disappeared you when you started okay. singing. That was kind of interesting. Huh? Does that happen? Oh, wait. What? Oh, that was you? That was oh, me. Okay. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> did you think that was oh, shit, he did a big I roll. thought it was oh. Benji. <laughs> <laughs> that is a common thing, though, when people uh, yeah, sing, true. their accents disappear. Oh. It's interesting. <gasps> Especially, I've noticed that with uh, UK singers. Yeah, because oh. we're all just emulating America. Yeah, they're all just emulating. sing. <laughs> They're all just okay, well, blind. let's oh begin the club. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, Wait, is is Kua Remo's or uh G Mart's old character? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh okay, okay, Kua, okay. Qua. Oh. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> fucking nice. That's like Kua, something Benji dude. would do intentionally. Yeah, just double double down on he it. Did. Yeah. Double down on the forever. Three more. Wait. Yeah. Oh, is it not seven? Qua, then? qua, qua, qua. I, I think it's oh. qua, cause, qua, cause light, cause light, oh, okay. cause light. <laughs> okay, so qua. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. Fun. I don't even know anymore. The ultimate troll. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. What's real? I don't fucking know. All right. So we see a boat. Yep, a boat approaching from the south. I mean, I south. see more than a boat. Moving at a I very... So I'm in the doorway. I oh, see no. Is it, is it the boat that we see to the right? Do no, it's not. <laughs> oh, okay. Not like this. Not like this. All right. Dude, me realizing I actually have to, like, play as this true. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Ooh. Luckily, my other character is also a cleric. Lucky ducky. <laughs> Isn't it a very different cleric, though? It is. It, it is. But. Yeah. <laughs> Still oh, had, like, guiding bolt and shit, though. Yeah. Which is good. And you actually punch something. Oh, I like this music. Ah. Wait, I don't hit. Oh, my ass. This. Oh, that. It, it's, it's, it is my, your my turn, ass. Did you just say my ass? I no, I did not. I did not say that. Yo, dude, nice. uh, initiative. Let's go. Uh, yeah. It's your turn. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, I'm I'm off. Ready to go already. <laughs> yes, it's your uh, it's your turn. I didn't think I would be. That's first. how I feel when I have to go first. I'm like, oh, uh, 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 I don't know my moves. <laughs> yeah, I, I just feel like I'm like back in middle school and like, Alex, you're up first you're for your uh, speech. All of a sudden, exactly. yeah. And you know you prepared for the speech, obviously, but like, boom, ready, go. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? Uh, you know, uh, uh, grab me range. <laughs> cool. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that Are was you okay? Dream rage. I think the dream is affecting Kobe. Oh no! <laughs> I'm doing fine. <laughs> Kobe, what's wrong with you? Oh my god! I think Jeez. that ghost is haunting them. We need to perform an exorcism of some kind. Oh, I'm good at those. It sounds like she's gargling really? mouthwash. Maybe. Wait, if I Once move here, they don't get attack of up, right? <laughs> Correct. Okay. Well, because, assuming their reach or is five this feet. guy. Correct. I'm still technically. Okay, okay, okay. So it's when sure. you leave their their range. Gotcha. Um, this is a perfect spot to be in, in uh, between all of them, and then I'm gonna attack this little pooch right here. Wait, no, I'm gonna attack this pooch right here. Okay. The the bottom one. Okay. And then um. What the? Uh, excuse me. Yaddy, yaddy. Wait, I did deadly style. Fuck. Uh, I'm not in deadly style. Um, do I just re-roll with the other one? Notters. Okay. Fuck, that, that... they're both gonna miss, aren't they? Um... <laughs> yeah. 
Yes. So what yes, if you close your eyes and dream that they hit? <laughs> God Man, damn no it. That you yeah, know you it to be so in the dream. You yeah. stab around the air. There's and, no place uh, like home. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and uh, next, yeah. So in response, you'll watch as this 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 hound will look over at you. And oh, one second. Oh, okay. No, sorry about that. I I thought something was wrong with this character. She, it's not. We're good. Anyways, uh, you'll watch as this as you kind of like go in for both stabs, missing both. You just kind of watch as this hellhound dips underneath both and will lunge forward with a shadowy claw. 13, and that does not hit. And that will end the creature's turn. Olive. All right. Um, uh, let's, I'm going to move forward here. Too far away. <clears throat> okay, perfect. Um, I'm going to do emboldening bond and I can do it on three people now. Ooh. Yeah. That's freaking um, crazy. I don't know why it did damage. Oh That's weird. my God. It's the same um, 30 feet. <laughs> yeah, so um, it's, it's, I'm going to do it on uh, Kopi, QB, and Tantu because they're at the front line here. Hell yeah. You guys just have to stay within 30 feet of each other to get the benefit. <laughs> you can add uh, once per turn, you can add a D4 roll to an attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. That's OP. That's Every so crazy turn? to put that on. Wow. Every turn. It's, yeah. it's cracked. So cool. Yeah. It's so good oh, as long no. as you just stay close. Yeah, but 30 feet's pretty good. Yeah, 30 feet is pretty generous. How does it, what, yeah, does it yeah, chain, yeah. Brett? Or is it like, so could you be like 25 feet, then one, then 25 feet, <clears> then the other uh, one? I believe it. Ha everyone has to be within 30 within feet, 30 feet of, of Olive. Uh, of olive. <laughs> Of all of it. Okay. Yeah, all has got, yeah. Yeah. Olive's got then. like an aura range right now. Yeah, so you yeah, have to yeah. Right, okay, area. so it's not. I get it. Okay. Uh, if that Actually, is. Wait. No, it's within. Bonded creatures within 30 yeah, feet within 30 feet of another. So you guys just have to be within 30 feet of each other. You don't of even at need least to be. One. <laughs> yeah. This is of another. Oh, not... okay. All right, all right, all right. I get it. I get it. I get yeah. it. Yeah. That's great. It's a, it's a chain. Whoa. It can yeah. be a chain. Yeah. As long as you, That's really cool. you just have to stay 30 person. feet from another emboldening bonded individual. I'm already yeah. perma bold. That's sick. Hell yeah. Hey, uh, Olive, what else are you doing? Um, uh, I think that's my action. <clears throat> I could cast a spell as a bonus action, but the only one I have is healing, so I'm going to end my turn. Boop. It, 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 okay, it is an action. Gotcha. Uh, yeah. all right. Next up is the Agonizer, who will whoop, turn right around and start giving you the one, two. Uh, will be twice with a Shadow Claw. 13 and up the 21, I believe, does hit. No. Yes, yeah, it does. Yeah. Uh, for 10 points of damage since you are raging. <laughs> All right, Qua, what you got, baby? Wait. Okay. Because I'm raging, it takes. I take 10? Oh, oh sorry. You take uh, 5. I don't know. I, oh, okay. thought I, I thought I already did the, the math in my head. I think I, you added right. both the damages together. I think I did too. Let's do half. this. Let's do this. Five, ten. <laughs> 15, oh, I can't wait to see this. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. Oh no, you're gonna come on. An arm strike ghost. Yes. You do <laughs> you see the slowest punch as this thing barely sidesteps. <laughs> uh, does he have like some sort of like disadvantage like Something ain't right. He's trying to fight as Remo, but he's not Remo. <laughs> no, but like, End like turn. mechanically, is he is that is he at disadvantage? He's claw, mechanically, I think. No, uh, no, he's just swinging a punch. I mean, it's not a disadvantage. It just punches are really shit yeah. if you're not a monk. Yeah, it's, it's, an, all, it's oh, a regular see, unarmed strike with a. Oh, he did a regular. Class. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Now I get what's happening. Okay. <laughs> Tontu. Uh, Tontu will run forward, and uh, he's gonna cast divine favor on himself okay um so uh, let me just paste that for everybody uh 
Uh, weapon attack still extra 1d4 radiant damage. Ooh. And then his aura of warding is going to push that out 10 feet. Ooh. And All right. So one. Jump up and attack the one that swang for Kopi. All right. So you guys will also get the effects of divine favor. Nice. One. Damn. That's crazy. And two. Uh, both oh my hit. god. Ooh. 30 points of damage. God damn. He didn't even smite yet. Uh, are they weak to radiant by chance? They look like it. Uh, you saw that it did do uh, additional damage from your previous fight, so yes. But you are also down to one spell left because you've been smiting like a and divine favor, and you have one. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not uh, smiting. I'm just wondering if the radiant damage from. Oh, I see what you're saying uh, now. Divine favor is doing more. Uh, yes. Give me one second. I have to see what you rolled. I did seven radiant. Seven, and then another. Then we shall do another fourteen. As yeah, the radiant light just just sears through the nightmarish creature. Uh, and he'll engage with this creature, and then say to Kobe, "I got your back." That's Thank you, little one. QB. Um. At pet. I am going to, um, st- strike the guy right. He- oh no, this guy almost dead. I'm going to strike him with a short ball. Uh, and thirteen will not hit. Can I add the D four? One D four. Yes, you can. Uh, slash roll. Yay. Sp- uh, slash roll space 1d4. Three. <gasps> that does hit. Nine points. Woohoo! And you are able to use sneak attack. Sneak attack. 11 points of damage. Yeah, he'll just watch as nightmare shadowy stuff just, just, just ejects out of the side of the creature. Gross. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think I'm done. Howie. Hello. Let's see, well, I can't currently see any creatures, so I'm gonna like warble out. Wonder what the commotion is. <laughs> oh God. Um, RT to me. It says 15. It says 10. Yeah, that's 15. RT runs by me through my little legs. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure he's in force cannon mode, so I, he's gonna just aim immediately at this motherfucker and start shooting. Firing. <laughs> what the oh, hell? Fuck yeah. Jesus. <laughs> that is Artie's actual voice. I would love if Artie had like a really Chad Giga Chad voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Firing, bro. I've got Fire. no problem, Howie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when you're with me, you're safe, Howie. <laughs> go ahead and roll the attack. Thanks, Artie. Um, all right, I will do that on Howie. I always forget because it's actually on Howie. I have to do it. Oh. It should be. Oh, nice. That's a miss. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you'll so watch. Misses. Uh, and because um, of that, the creature gains inspiration. I'm happy to be of service, enemy team. Um, <laughs> all right. Then I will step over here. I will look for the cheese. I will climb up Where onto cheese? this barrel. Okay. D- does that cost any movement or anything? Is it like to a get up? How much? Uh, how much move? Well, you also have flying, so you can just fly up there. I flap up to the barrel. Yes. I flap diagonally up the barrel. Um, uh, yep. I do a little skitter. Um, then I'm going to try and say, ah, well, not all of us can aim so good, right, Artie? And then I'm going to try shoot it myself with a counter. Uh, which would happen a little bit, something like this. It gives a little sad sound. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Damn. Uh, yeah, you hard today. <laughs> you'll watch the firebolt <laughs> shoot out as this thing just evaporates into ash. Very when you're with me, you're job. safe, Artie. Uh, thank you. Uh, Artie collapses two little metal appendages in front of him. He's so animated and cool. Man, I wish I was just playing Artie. <laughs> That's what I want <laughs> everyone to I wish to I was Artie. <laughs> <laughs> the transplant of, of Howie's brain will happen yeah, in like the next like, you're, seven you're to eight years. rapidly accelerating that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Wouldn't it be like, cool if I was Howie? short, transplant into Artie. <laughs> Uh, if that is yeah, the no, I'm, I'm end it. of your round, uh, just make sure to hit uh, end turn. Got you, bud. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so you're just going to watch this spidery creature just just kind of like skitter over 
and is going to Shadow Claw Tonto. Ooh, 21 does hit. Uh, two points of damage. Please roll a Constitution saving throw for a Concentration check. Yep. I think you have advantage now or no? I do. All right. You're good. Uh, I just hit the plus, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. You're good. 23. This uh, hellhound in front of you uh, will attack with his shadowy claw, uh, hitting at Kopi. And now I get to introduce a new mechanic, like an altered Ooh. multi-attack. It's called combo attack. Uh, oh, yeah. If, oh. if you hit uh, with a attack uh, and, it, and the attack hits, you are free to do the next combo step. For this one will be Shadow Bite, uh, which hits harder and also does a lot more damage. I, oh! <laughs> Tongue to anticipating the bite will try and get between. Oh, yeah. So you just kind of go there and, and the you, creature. you'll watch as the bite just kind of breaks through the shield a little bit. Uh, it will hit, but only deal 22, 13, that's nine. And then we divide in half, which will be four. So four points of damage. Very good. Very good. What would I do without you, Tonto? Hey, Brett, Keep in. Yes. Are these um, creatures <laughs> beasts or humanoids? No. Okay. Uh, it will claw at you, though, Quah. Uh, that's a no. That's a no. Uh-oh. No. And Quah gets inspiration. <laughs> As a friendly cool. reminder, uh, you guys are able to spend your inspiration on a legendary action, which you can use immediately after another creature's turn. I only... use my legendary action to punch. Okay. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go. And that's the end of the creature's turn. At the end of the creature's turn, you spend the inspiration for legendary action and... You hit him for five points of damage. Uh, too still radiant, too got radiant. It. And too radiant. Too ra and, uh, nope, you're right. Another two extra points of damage. And, yeah, you actually feel the impact on your fist. Like, it hurts to punch. Mm -hmm. All right. After the legendary action at the top of the round, uh, very quickly now, you'll watch as the ship from the south just sort of just crashes like right <laughs> into the dock. You'll see wood just flying and splintering up. And from there, Whoa. leaping up into the air, you will watch as I'm looking for the, there it is. You'll watch as this pirate captain just, just lands right in the middle of it. And, uh, Gerard, why don't you introduce yourself, finally, and the character that you'll be playing. Hello, everyone. I'm back. Uh, my name is Gerard. I'm the completionist, and uh, I play the character of Captain Leighton Beardthrone of the Captain of Lady Luck. Woo! And, uh... I, I I just crash land into this. I don't know what's going on. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, first what? of all, in the hell? if you look in the screen, you will see uh, we had a special oh, Discord reaction for Gerard. That's awesome. For, oh, for that's cool. Blake, uh, by done by none other than our wonderful Bird Renard. And as a lair action for this one time before I roll initiative, um, Layton, uh, you can start. Uh, with an action. So you could, you could do some attacks if you'd like. Uh, you could move out of the way. What would you like to do? And, and I'll, uh, I'll guide you through everything because I know you have to remember or learn sure. boundary. Well, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to use a mortal and, and do my double attack on this being to my left. Okay. You'll watch as Leighton draws this this sword. You can see it's a curved great sword. Um, and etched with something haunted within, uh, you can tell that this is a very powerful weapon. And uh, if anyone would like to do a history check, if you're a, if you've got um, background in like weapons or have interest in weapons, you're free to do that now. Oh, all right. So, uh, yeah, uh, go ahead and with your token selected, Gerard. Oh, that's it. You did it. Uh, yeah. So the sword strikes down. 16 points of damage. Uh, the second one, however, will miss. 
<laughs> critical. Uh, Grant, granting let's get that one out there. entrance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, granting inspiration. Oh, yeah. Uh, you are able to, just as a reminder, Flurry of Blows, and you have the ability to Flurry of Blows with Immortal. The only Hell monk yeah. in uh? IO history <laughs> who was able to Flurry uh, of Blows with a greatsword. Uh, I'm gonna, can I do that? I'm gonna, yes, do that absolutely. Right now? Yes. Great. You can, you can attack uh, two more times. And I will take away a key point. You're down to six key points. All right. Uh, both will, uh, yes, both will land a hit, dealing 27 points of damage. So you just Damn. watch as Leighton just crashes down and just starts decimating <clears throat> the creature over here. Uh, <laughs> Coward. As you say that. Who's this guy? <laughs> as I have no idea, but my turn was skipped. Oh, sorry. Apologies. Uh, Kopi, <laughs> it's fine. It's Kopi's turn. Because Arix wants to go on when their initiative is. How dare you? I, I, wait, uh, was I an asshole for no, saying no, that? No, no, no. I'm just fucking with you. Uh, it is. Oh, okay. it, I, I apologize for skipping your turn. No, you go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, like, we need to figure out who this guy is. <laughs> That doesn't involve hitting you, him with your weapon. Why do you order? <laughs> I will say, Remo, he looks familiar to you. Oh. I don't okay. know this guy. <laughs> Wait, Late he's not I a bad guy. He's like not a bad I guy. Do. That's the captain I'm looking for. Luna says to whoever could hear her. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> all Nobody. Can hear. <laughs> Just Cupie. Yeah. All, all of her ears. <laughs> Is this guy on our side or what? He's he's a good guy, QB says. Yeah, yeah, yeah good, guy. good guy. Okay, good guy. Don't attack him. Got it. Tonte will uh, consciously extend his aura to this mysterious character. Hell nice. yeah. Divine favor. Okay, um, Kopi will go into deadly style. Deadly style. Uh, uh, deadly style. Uh, and then I will try again with this, this pooch right here. Let's this. see. Let's see what you got. Dead star. Yeah. All right. Nice. So, oh. um, the radiant is immediately maximized. Uh, so that's another two points of damage for 21. 12. So, oh, okay. So every hit you deal, um, to these creatures, uh, is a total of 25 points of damage, including the vulnerabilities. Damn. So... 25 and 25 as you just start stabbing the crap out of this hellhound. Nice. Uh, the hellhound, who was about to strike this mysterious stranger that is now just going crazy with this uh, necrotic sword, uh, you'll watch as the hellhound turns over after getting the shit beaten out of it uh, over to Opie. 19 hits, goes into a combo Shadow Bite, which misses eight point, a total of four points of damage dealt. Olive. All right. Um, everyone's good on heals. I'm, I'm going to try to uh, Sacred Flame the dog that has not been hit. Okay. Come on, bait. Oh. <laughs> really? Sacred Lame. Oh, really? Man. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay because it's radiant, so it would be double if you. If it. Oh, oh hey! Oh, 12 oh, points! Oh, yeah! Let's All go! Right. Let's go! Let's go. <laughs> All right, okay. Sacred Fame! Sacred right. Fame! Um, Let's go. Then... Let's that's go. it for now. I'm just going to stay put. Okay. <clears throat> uh, the. Well, not anymore. That guy's dead. Qua. Hmm. Ah, this doesn't feel right. He's gonna look at the. <laughs> he's gonna look at the snake staff that he's got. Mm-hmm. And he's gonna. He's gonna stare at it for a little bit. <gasps> and he's gonna hold it out in front of himself. Yes. And he gestures with it again 
Oh, I thought that would work. Um, <laughs> just gonna hit him with the staff. Let's go. But unlike activated because I don't know the activation. Yeah, that'll be word. your quarter. You just use the quarter staff. Whoop! Too many hit. Actually, yeah, there you go. Uh, the so first... Just the first one. Yep. Uh, that misses. Let's just watch as he just Yoda bops with the, the, the staff and uh, times. This, I hate this dream. In turn. Tontu. Uh, Tontu will uh, continue to assist Kopi and attack the one on their flank. He swings Arms. with his little warhammer imbued with light. 14. Uh, 14 will hit, dealing 15 points of damage. Yeah, plus four more radiant. Yep. Already added. 13 will miss, unfortunately. I will use the d4 I was given. Hell yeah. That's oh, yeah. It. So 15. That'll be another four points, so that's 16 points of damage dealt. Sweet. Um, that's my turn. All right. QB. Okay. Uh, Luna's saying to QB, like, you have to help him. He's, he's a good guy. Okay. Like he, I, we, we have to go talk to him. Okay. He can help you guys too. And QB says, well, okay. Okay. So she pulls out her short bow and she aims at the guy right to the left of Layton. He's right. like a Fire Emblem green unit that showed up. Go talk to him quick. We got a recruit for the party. <laughs> Uh, that hits, and you can roll for sneak attack. Okay, sneak attack. Ooh! Yeah, and you'll just watch Ooh. as this thing just... And, La and Leighton, you'll feel the shadowy stuff, like, kind of, like, dust off against your arm as you feel, like, the gust of the arrow going through the creature. And then, um... I then... had that under control. <laughs> Luna Layton... whispers... Oh, go ahead. Leighton looks over at where the arrow came from and looks at Luna and his eyes widen. And he goes, I found you. Oh, finally, I found you. Oh, things are finally looking my way. And oh my gosh, I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh, wait, there's still one more bad guy. Uh, QB pulls out her... Uh, her like dagger for and does two-handed weapon or whatever it's called and chucks it at this guy over here. Oh the, yeah, I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah, go ahead and use. Uh, go ahead and throw your dagger. Okay, dagger. Uh, oh, damn. That that will hit, and you're hitting uh, this guy, correct? Uh huh. And yes. can I add that extra one? <laughs> oh, to to hit. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it already hit with a 23. Or to the damage? Or you, does that not work? I, I believe you can't add it to the damage, correct? Um, Bree? I'm bolding by. Uh, no, I think it's just attack. No, Sorry. it's just oh, hit rolls. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okie dokie. Okay, but you're good. But yeah, that'll hit, and then the dagger just kind of clink, 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 just clinks over there. And Lunas whispers something to QB, and QB yells, Suplex! But... Luna said, no, it's not, that's not a suplex, but, and then with that, <laughs> she ends the turn. All right. Owie. Hi, Brett. Um, Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello. It's my turn. Hello. Hello. Um, Missed you, buddy. Missed you too, bud. It's been a whole turn. <laughs> it's, it's been, been a whole six <laughs> seconds. Yeah. Um, all right. I will, uh, Artie's going to try again and say, uh, why don't you try again, buddy? And then Artie's going to go and aim his little cannon at this, whatever that is. Um, and that will take the form of this. Uh, firing. <laughs> and it misses again. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, better luck next time. And then I'm going to repeat the same myself. Oh, my God. And that'll be a four, po four points of damage. Well, it hit, but I, I think it was a glancing blow. Um, that was my bonus action and main action. Damn, I need to... I think I've been saving my spell slots because I have this idea that we're, we're going to have a, something horrible and heinous, but 
Maybe mm-hmm. I should just start using them. Uh, are we? I don't feel like we're in danger here very much yet, though. So no. Forgive me if I don't pop off. Um, hey, I've right, been trying it's... my hardest. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, are you yeah. Not yeah. Going full force? Oh, I remember. I remember the the the, the stick with the snake on it. Right? Are you when not you, going you full force from turn one? No. <laughs> 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 no, definitely not. So yeah, uh, that's my turn. Thank you. Okay. Uh, you'll watch as this thing starts scurrying back a little bit, leaving. Uh, I use. To... Yes. Oh, nothing. No, no, you're good. No, That's, it. Your That's it. Do your thing. Uh, wait. Fred's I want to make sure for I... us to not pay attention. <laughs> is uh, is sentinel attack kick in if it uh moves out of? Yes. Okay, Absolutely. So... Okay, so I'm I'm gonna sentinel attack that as it tries to get away. Um, where is the button? Oh, there it is. Oh. Uh, you just attack then... the normal. Oh. Oh, I see. Sentinel attack. Uh, so no, it is it is not a it's sentinel a attack. Um, but you're just using your reaction to, to hit, uh, to oh. hit him, which well, does oh. attack him off. Yeah, which does hit for. Yeah, it's the other part of, of sentinel, <laughs> not yep. the uh, not the attack part. It's uh, yeah. yeah. So you're yeah I, you're the the one where it's just like so you hit. It's uh, this one. It's the attack of all. And then they can't yeah. move or whatever. And then right? they can't move. Yeah. So it hits and it, he can't get away. He's, he's trying to step back and then you just you just pull him right back with the spear. This thing's just like <laughs> and it's just like as, he, as you pull it like it looks like he's about to cast something and just completely falls oh, no. apart. Kopi does like a very slow evil smile at it. What the fuck? Oh no. All right, then that's going to. So as it does that, it just, it looked like it was about to cast a spell, uh, but instead it will just drop it uh, down on top of itself. So we'll just watch as it just, and it just, this thing just slams down of shadowy energy. Uh, Go ahead and make charisma saves, uh, Tantu and Hopi. Charisma save. Charisma save. Uh, That's the thing I'm good at. 20. Nice. (laughs) Nice. Uh, uh, You want to add three to your save. That's not enough. Which will not be enough. But but you also (laughs) emboldening fun. Oh, and Bond. Also had one D four. Oh, okay. If you want, I mean, uh, yeah, you want to embolden Bond? Okay. Yeah. It's a choice. Yeah. Is, are yeah, you making? Are you gonna choose that? That's enough. <laughs> oh wow. That's enough. You're good. So no damage. Sixteen. Taken. You beat the. You beat the save. So no damage dealt. Uh, Layton, it is your turn. Layton moves forward and slowly looks at Qua and goes ah yes the turtle (laughs) we've got turtles again oh i love this turtle you you are a brave warrior yeah i (laughs) am (laughs) finally somebody recognizes great (laughs) and as as leighton is like trying to high five uh uh qua he blindly just swings behind him and starts attacking the enemy <laughs> oh what a cool guy uh 17 uh oh so i have to calculate one more thing uh so it'll be six points of damage uh it'll be six and eight oh, sorry so four three seven uh, seven plus 17 oh it doesn't matter yeah the, the, as you like crush down with one uh, the first hit actually just just decimates uh, the creature. And your second one, um, I'm assuming, will be directed to the other. Yeah. Uh, that'll be, yeah, just 20 points of damage. Just swings down. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use another key point and just start flurry of blowing, flurry, flurry, flurry blowing this dude. All right. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. We're done. <laughs> Uh, 12, 16, let's say 12, 16, 28, and then just check the damage there, it's for one, and another five points of damage, as you just, 
Leighton, as he's like putting the sword away, grabs the being by the throat and looks him in the eyes and goes, you soon will be nothing. <laughs> and like shoves him back against the dock. And he just... This is just like it's the side of the dock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, does that and that ends your your turn, correct? Yes. All right. Well, it did not appreciate that very much, so it's gonna go ahead and slash at Layton. Uh, that'll hit for seven points of damage. Get your life bar up, and then it will combo into its shadow bite, which will also hit for. Oh! Seven points of damage. Conti will predict the bite sliding between Layton's legs and blocking the brunt of it. Nice. And then... Layton, Layton looks dead hot dog. It's just like, you are. What are you? I'm Tonti. You gotta be more careful, mister. <laughs> And Leighton, Leighton looks and goes, Tantu, how do you feel about being thrown? <laughs> Not great. <laughs> we'll work on it. Thank you, mate. <laughs> You're welcome. Kopi. I think. <laughs> uh, she'll give a side eye at Leighton, kind of disturbed. Um... <laughs> And, uh, wait, we got the Ordealis, uh, there's two guys left. I'll just go for the, the, the Hellhound. Uh, you could probably first. kill Let's both. See if it kills it. Uh, uh, hits and kills. Okay. And then she faces the, Come um, Ordealis and then on, hit. goes Come again. On, hit. So you just literally watch as Kopi just like swirls uh, her spear around in one, two, and just immediately destroying the two creatures. Or rather, how, how would you uh, like to end the scene, Arix? You did it perfectly. I was like, okay. And then just in the background, you just watch as the shadow stuff just, just she'll, blows back. But on her face, she'll like have this like look of like, yeah, I'm the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Absolutely. I don't understand. It looks like a snake. And then the staff's going to come alive. Oh, <laughs> I got you know, it. Can you stop I got it, everybody. for a second and just think? The word was what? snake. <laughs> <laughs> it turns back to a staff. <laughs> do, you know, do you know this individual that's next to us? I've never seen him in my life, but he does look familiar. Okay, then you've seen him before. Jeez. No. <laughs> the counter's over, by the way, just for those that didn't know. Mm -hmm. I can't explain it. He just seems familiar. Okay, well, he was... Yeah. Okay, explain yourself, uh... Uh, what's your name? The name's Captain Layton. Layton Beardthrone of Lady Luck. And he like points behind him and the ship is like kind of <laughs> dilapidated. Ship has the, the, shit into the, the, ship has, <laughs> the ship has beached Stinking. itself on the stone. No, it's There's not There's like sinking. smoke pouring oh. out ex explosions. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like beached up on the stone part of the dock with the, with, with the front of it like definitely just blown through the building. Splinters all over. <laughs> Layton like looks back at the ship a little wide-eyed and kind of just mutters to himself. I... All right, it's been a while since I've I've really captained my own ship, but I'm getting there. It's it's like it takes practice. Well, Captain, uh, meet our Captain, Captain Howie, Captain Howie. Oh, great! Another Captain. How many and, Captains are amongst fellow us? Fellow Captain. Uh, it could be fellow Captains, not competition. Oh. <laughs> now he's calling himself if a Captain. If it helps, he doesn't have a ship. <laughs> Captain ah. Howie at your service. Have a ship, by the way, just out of commission temporarily. As all, you uh, two have here. that in common. <laughs> I knew they would hit it off. 
best friends already. Well, no, I I, I noticed them saying uh, this captain fellow speaking to towards QB. Luna like runs. Oh, can Luna run over, or is she like attached to QB? Uh, it, she I, drags yeah. you over. Yeah, yeah, she can do oh, that. Okay. Yeah, I'm so QB kind of comes along too, and Luna runs over. Leighton, oh my gosh, where have you been? Leighton, without hesitating, with his arms, grabs both QB and Luna and like carries them like children, hugging the crap out of them, QB's... squeezing him as squeezing as tight <laughs> as you can. I like him. He is so much fun. Can you throw me in the air? Careful what you wish for. I love throwing people. Oh, it's so good to see you. So good to see you. Oh my gosh. It's been so many years. I, I didn't think that... How did we... Wait, does Luna know how she got here? Like, what point in the storyline is it? Um, Lu So the only thing that Luna... Hmm, trying to figure this out. So, the only information Luna knows uh, is to the end of your character uh, in Phase Two. So, oh. at, so pretty much right at the uh, at the end of uh, you know up to the end of the misdemeanor, and that's all you, you that that's all Luna knows. Well, oh. plus the honeymoon with her bay, actually. So <laughs> you know. You the honeymoon you know. in the afterlife. Well, yes. up, up up to the end of phase two, but pre pre Leighton yes. becoming the god of death. Yes, that, I mean the, literally the last thing that you actually. Oh my god! Yeah, the last thing the both of you would remember is going through the gate to the other side. So you oh. don't even. So that's it because that's how misdemeanor ended. So you remember all the way up to you going through the gate, and then that's oh. that's it. That's the end of memory. Okay. Um, let's see. Captain, oh my goodness. The last thing I remember was when we went through the gate, when we made the decision to, to stay with you, and then suddenly I was in a sack. But that iron guy, that pirate, remember the big giant man that we fought? What? He iron captured butt me. Is, iron Butt is still alive? I thought I broke his neck. I thought you did too, but he put me in a sack? And he dumped me in the town square here, and I, I saw Nicholas, and then suddenly everyone was gone, and I was with these guys, and I feel a particular connection to this one over here. I don't, I don't know why. Leighton yeah. stop. <laughs> Le Leighton stops and starts sniffing, like <laughs> smelling something really potent, and goes over here and well, looks Tantra at Olive. Does that too. Oh. Goes goes to Olive and goes. You, me. You, you smell of pickle juice. I. She's gonna look down and smell herself, and looks like she's gonna cry. <laughs> you at one point made the most delicious pickle I've had in my entire life, and I have been searching the high seas <laughs> trying to find it. How did you make it? I need your recipe. <laughs> she's gonna. <laughs> stare at him and she's just gonna be like you know i lost my memory recently but you're providing a lot of insight maybe i was a really good chef everybody <laughs> so look around. I know. Dumpies. <laughs> <laughs> well um when did i make you a, this uh, profound pickle changing item leighton kind of scratches his head and starts to realize what he's about to say sounds crazy we well we were in the stars and there was a gigantic baby that i threw <laughs> off this being uh -huh. and before i threw off the baby you gave me a pickle which gave me the power to toss the children the child Okay. This She's gonna stare at her friends like, what the fuck? Weirder weirder. It, it was a nightmare. really bad baby. He he isn't a child attacker. It was it was oh. a big baby. Oh, that child deserved it. It was trying to consume yes. everything. Definitely. <laughs> you going to traumatize her? I would like to wake <laughs> up now. How he steps between Artie and Captain Layton. Was it like a goat baby? Because good babies, sometimes they're very bad. Oh, and ostriches, we don't like those ones either. Very bad ostrich. Yeah. Long neck. Long neck bad. 
Did it have a long neck? Was it a long neck baby? It's oh. kind. It was kind of like a, just a big baby. Like imagine a child, but like three thousand times the size. It was it, very unsettling. It floated in in the sky, in the universe. Yes. That was sounds really right. bad. Hmm. Well, I mean, half of us can't see. Laura's character. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've just got Layton going, I killed a baby. I killed a baby. No, no. I killed a huge baby. baby. No, no, no. That so baby funny. deserved it, though. I'm telling you. <laughs> You're hearing half. Yeah, he's justifying it like himself. <laughs> Layton, Layton looks over at, at, at Howie and goes, So let me get this straight. You're the captain. Uh, I. <laughs> I've he's always wanted to say that. Hey, <laughs> captain. I am the captain, Remo. He's not my captain. Oh, he technically Wait, he is the only captain among us. I don't think he's had the ship for a very long time. All right. Yeah. Le Leighton leans into how he like kind of squinting at him and just kind of goes, <laughs> squints back. Where's <laughs> your hat? <gasps> oh, on he has like an my hat. head. Leighton yeah, <laughs> <laughs> busts out into laughter, just like, you, you call that a hat? That's yes, a I call that a hat. On, that's a wet blanket on your head, mate. What is that's not a hat? I need it for the air, the blistering air when you're floating oh, through the, the skies in your Mr. sky Howie, ships. Show him, show him the goggles. This way, right, Captain Layton, how are you flying? It has a flying ship, not a sailing ship. He has yeah, a yeah. sky ship? Airship. Yes, precisely. Oh, wow. Wait, do you sail on... Wait, you're telling me that you sail on water. <laughs> 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 Trivial. <laughs> of course I, uh, uh. I sail on water. <laughs> well, I sail in the skies. Well, look, if you're all going to be a part of my crew, you all need hats. And Leighton pulls out his jacket and starts putting hats on every single person around him. What? They're Look at all... hats? Everyone now has a hat that looks exactly that like so... Leighton's hat. That sounds oh my so God. inconvenient. Oh, thank, thank, you, thank you, Captain. Thank you, Captain. Thank you, Captain. It'll protect us from the sun. Yes. Fan artist. Mm, you can, already you can crazy. get heat stroke. Winks at fan artist. I don't want heat stroke. <laughs> Uh, yes, oh, uh, uh, where are we going? Are we getting on your ship? Does this hat make me captain? Oh, you look so cool, Boofs. So Very cool. cool. Thank you. Captain Tontu. All right, he'll do, don't a, get he'll it do a flourish and a bow. <laughs> don't get it twisted. All right, not everyone is a captain. It's just that the hat <laughs> makes you feel like you're a part of the crew. And I now you are like part of captain. my crew. Can I be captain of the farm? Ooh. I think that's called a farmer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot Let of chickens. <laughs> they can be my mates. First mate. Yeah. Do you call it that? Egg mate. I, no, no, me. that's not, that's... <sighs> Leighton looks at Howie, kind of goes, kind of whispers under his breath, do you have an org chart? Do you know how this organization is run? Do you know who does what on, in your crew? An org chart. Yeah, well, we kind of have somewhat of a diffuse leadership system where we kind of all do what we fancy, you know? Olive and I have feet that also have feelings. Yeah! I'm feelings. a gambling addict! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, we kind, we kind of let the kids Hubie, do what they want. Is any of this jogging your memory? Uh, oh me? Yeah. Um, you maybe. Know, why we're here? Uh, I... Olive, anything? Uh. Hmm. Hmm. I okay. don't know. There <laughs> I left the time. iron on at home. Oh my god, Mr. Howie. It's I've got okay. to go. No. <laughs> How? How would you go home right now? That iron would probably be dead by now. Mm -hmm. Irons iron. don't ever live. Iron, mm -hmm. iron, 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 iron side. Oh. Yeah. oh, that's right. We were talking about iron side. Yes. Wait. But Where's Layton, Nicholas? I. He was in the town square before. But then he disappeared. Everyone disappeared. He I got taken. He's, he's talking to himself. What is going on? Oh, he's 
Uh, Who took talking? him? I, I, I don't know. I. It was very difficult to see anything. Do you know are where you, he is? Are you talking or... to me? Because you're looking over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we can deduce that Some they're probably talking to the supposed ghost in the room. The it's really, really confusing. I'm going to be He's honest. a real ghost. <laughs> She's really there. You can't hear a response. I'm just constantly just confused. I don't know if I'm being addressed. Or you're just talking to someone who's not there. They'll use your name when they're talking to it's you. It's okay, Tonya. I just won't say anything then. What happened to the others? <laughs> Alice and all the... I haven't seen any of them. I... <sighs> I don't... I don't remember. The last thing I remember is that... That gigantic door we went through. Oh. All I remember is I woke up and I was on the Lady Luck. And I was just sailing the seas. In fact, this is the first... The first plot of land I've seen in... In possibly months. Mm, if you could even call it land. I don't even know what we're on. She kind of looks over the edge and sees all the, like, stars around them. Do you see water, Leighton? You do. What? <laughs> you see an ocean of water. Oh, interesting. Oh. Huh. Instead of... Aye, of course it's water. Why? What do you all see? Stars. Magic. Yeah. Space. Magic water with stars in it? What? Dragon yeah. dust. Do you see some... You see water? Yes. Oh. This is all water to me. All right. I, I feel like we need to address the elephant in the <laughs> room because your reality down. is breaking. Yeah. We must have to crouch down uh. next to Tantu and go, Do you think we should tell him that he's a dream? <laughs> oh, no. Um, are you a dream? Me? I don't think so. Well, you're not yourself right now. I, 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 I am myself. I think I just look different. You are a, a turtle. What if this is your ghost, but it's stolen your body? <gasps> I don't okay. think I've got a ghost. Uh... Can I ride on your shell? You're like poke. What? Qua? <laughs> be like. Yeah, you're pretty sturdy. <laughs> oh, you be stop. like spider climbs up his back and like sits on top. <laughs> this is so cool. Careful. <laughs> oh. Careful Copy, you want to come up here too? There. It's oh, better I than a horse. On top of Dreamo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get off. <laughs> she will attempt to climb Dreamo as well. Oh my god. <laughs> That's too much, he's man. Huge, right? He's like, that big. He's... uh, Qua. Do you, well, I mean, Qua, Qua is kind of like a little taller than you. Oh, wow. never mind. Okay, so I yeah, still do that's it. That's like a full ass grown <laughs> um, person. Control Z. Control Z. I did not Control-Z. get on him. Control Z. Undo. <laughs> low state. Low state. Got it. I have a rope if you want to climb up. You're like lo- you're like Nobody's almost face climbing anything. You're like faced almost face to face with Kopi when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> Juby, I-, I think you have a, a a false sense of your uh direct not direction uh height. Oh. Gale. Yeah, I think you're right. Mm. It's my ponytail. Makes me mm. think I'm really tall. Hmm. She sits down on Quas back. Uh, well, I think we have two different avenues we could go down here, gang. The first is that we embrace this madness and continue just exploring, and we don't address the elephant in the room, or we have to exercise the ghosts, the demons, the the, the dream specters. I don't know exactly Question. what they are. No, you can't exercise Luna. She's I mean, my friend. I, uh, I do not want to be exercised. Okay. I'm but, plenty but, tired in this body as exactly is. Exactly what a demon would say. Mr. Howie, <laughs> if, if QB feels a connection with whatever she's looking at, and this man was looking for it too, then maybe we just go with him. Yeah, well, that's option one. I say uh, that's a, that would be my vote. Sorry, I wasn't you speak actually a bit, going to suggest... You speak in tongues sometimes. It's hard yeah, to understand. Yeah, he speaks in uh. riddles. Took me about two oh, seconds to process. Do, wait, do birds have tongues? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> Is 
Is there anything over here anyway? You begin moving up to the north of the dock where the city seems to go on. A door is before you to the north to another building. Well, I was like half asking if, if we if there's actually anything that I can oh, see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There. Well, I, I took the opportunity to, to, ask, to let you know what you saw anyways. Cool. We need to get to the bottom of this memory dream realm. Okay, well, I, stay, I guess we stay in the dream realm. Well, I don't know how to wake us up, and oh. uh, Rolvex not pulling us out. Is While Rolvex he's walking real? next to Layton, he's gonna turn, like, tug on his leggings, I guess, <laughs> or britches, <laughs> and he's gonna say, You know you're a dream, right? Oh my god! <laughs> Layton Layton turns and squints and looks at Howie and goes, "You know, if you're gonna try and hit on me, you could try to do it a bit better, mate." <laughs> a, a stunning captain, yes, that's exactly what I meant. <laughs> Layton Layton picks up Howie by his neck and kind of looks at him closer so he can really see, and kind of like jostles him a little bit, just very lightly, and kind of goes. Shouldn't you be perched on the shoulder of someone? <gasps> I mean, uh, walking is kind of tiresome. Oh, Layton, <laughs> Layton puts him on his shoulder. <laughs> no way. <laughs> and continues to walk. That's so How cute. he perches like this was what he was designed Aww. to do. Aww. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> cute. Oh my god. That's really I'm sweet. sorry, fitting for you, Howie. <laughs> Yes. Now you don't have to complain about walking anymore and your bones hurting and all that other stuff old people say. <laughs> my I was asleep. bones are hurting. You can't perch on my shoulders, sorry. <laughs> Did she snap in the air <laughs> after she <laughs> said <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> sorry. That was a yes moment. <laughs> was like, a little the... sassy. Yeah. <laughs> What, what do we see? Is uh, it you, see, you see, you a, see door. a door. Okay, I open. Oh, it opens. You enter into a building. Uh, you will oh. see the merchant that you talked to earlier before. Uh, seems to have something set up in this area. Oh. She goes, oh. yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I've got a few things for sale, I suppose. Uh, what money do you have? Um, She checks for... Money. As you say that, she starts turning her eyes over to the Layton, and she's leering at him. Layton, with the biggest smirk ever, just kind of goes, "What kind of currency do you take?" She stares over at you and just says, "Layton, it's good to see you." <gasps> she stares back forward at definitely more. Uh, annoyed than anything but it kind of calms down a little um and she says uh, we only handle in in gold the purest gold token uh, really well, you know um our friend uh captain layton right there um is going to pay for everything right layton without hesitation pulls out a bag of coins and tosses it on the on the table hmm. of course yes gold means nothing whatever we want uh you will actually see as he it, he's got bags of gold within his 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 coat and just drops it there and she looks down and she says and she'll look over and say first of all your money's no good here second of all that's not even gold what is this and she motions over to the uh bag what <laughs> what what Layton's like kind of embarrassed and goes what do you mean it's not gold all I have is gold I know what gold looks like, and that's not it. Mm. And she, Do like, I have any gold? <laughs> uh, reach it into the pack of holding he's at. Oh, yeah. So as you reach, you'll pull out the, the memory, uh, the fragment, uh, me memory fragment, and she'll mm. point over at you. And she said, yes, gold. Thank you. I have a tribal golden necklace that I, oh, I borrowed do have from gold. somebody. <laughs> You'll watch as he's holding the memory fragment. I'll set, I'll set it down on the table or whatever. All right. Now we can do business. 
Uh, so. What else do I have in here? <laughs> Starts uh, digging around. Uh, so. Pulls out human arm. <laughs> yeah, oh that's not it. Put that back. Why? <laughs> um, so. Wait, hold on. Doesn't Qua have. Um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. A, I do. That is. That is something else. That's a three phase special right there. <laughs> um, so, uh, Broomhilda is the individual that you trade memory fragments uh, for uh, ability unlocks. Oh. And that is what she trades in. Places on counter. One Sunfist, please. <laughs> I'd like to purchase one Sunfist. So, when you guys are ready uh, to pick an ability, let me know, and she'll be the one that you go to. Only one did of anybody, us can do, right? Did anybody do their homework and get really excited about a subclass? I didn't. Um, I, was in, I did, but it, I, I don't want to take it. What did you? I'm what happy was for you to take the first one if yours. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Not. It seems like you yeah. are the dead set on what you, you want. The most, yeah, you you're the most. Yeah, you're the most certainty. I'm still deciding. I even remember too, so. the thing you wanted. You wanted sun fists. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let one let Ringo get it, fist, please. All right. <laughs> So, uh, on, on his, please. <laughs> I'm going to see a picture show. One sun fist, please. What does that even do? I'm trying to look through. What uh, is it called? Radiant sunbolt under monk oh, at the bottom. Bolt? I'm just curious. Basically, I can use my attack action as a 30 foot ranged attack that has um radiant modifier. Oh, you got wave fist. Uh, you can he hurl searing bolts of magical radiance. Uh, you gain a new attack option that you can use the attack action. This special uh, attack is a ranged spell attack, a range of 30 feet. You're proficient in it, and you can add your dexterity modifier to its attack and damage rolls. Its damage is radiant, and the damage di its damage die is a d4. Die changes as you gain monk levels, as shown in the martial arts uh, column. So yes, uh, sun fist. <coughs> uh, all right. So with that, second. Now, that being said, this doesn't affect me currently in any capacity. Oh, heavens no. Yeah, I'm, I'm still just a fucking druid. But you will be Eventually, sun yeah. yeah. It'll be in sun fist mode. Uh, Remo will get Yo, that. awesome. So, yeah, you unlock uh, and Let's learn. Go. And, yeah, you learn the, the radiant move, which we have dubbed sun fist. And I hope Remo <laughs> says it every time he uses it. Oh, it's not actually called that? <laughs> no, I all oh, It is now. Sunday. It is now. It is now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's homebrewed in, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sun Fist. All right. You open the door and, yeah, uh, oh, Brunhilde sorry. is. Oh, you're, you're good. No, Brunhilde just goes, well, uh, the pleasure doing business. Of course, I have plenty of other wares. Just you should bring some gold. Do I have to pay to open the door? I'm sorry. She looks over at you and says, oh, no, the uh, the door is free. The door is for paying customers only. That's me. The door is free. How is going to hop off and take out his screwdriver? <laughs> uh, no, opening the it's door. It's a dream door. You don't even want that. Ah, oh, right. Good point. It is absolutely a dream. I feel like this joke has been done before. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, she says, uh, I, I might be traveling off soon, so um, whatever business you have, make it quick. And if you have any more trading you'd Anybody like to do. Anybody got any gold? Well, we don't have any more of the, the things to get the memories, right? Correct. No. Uh, some of okay. Artie's components are made of gold. I could sell him. <laughs> I don't want oh, Would don't you do sell that? Artie, his family. Oh, that's right. I would never do that. I Whoa. love him. Beep, beep, beep. Oh my god. Could I do a um insight check on that? Uh yes, absolutely. Uh I don't think he loves Artie. What is that rolling against? Uh deception. Okay. <laughs> you're deceiving me. Yeah, you're not very convincing. Okay, so beep, beep, beep. uh no, because he's an automaton that this is RT like one million, you know? This is sure. one of many, many, many. He RT loves the idea of RT. Of course, but... of course. Not but RT I will itself. say the, the memory core that he transfers between them, he does he does like that. But the the, the chassis, no, nah, doesn't give a shit. <laughs> doesn't feel anything for the armor and body. No, no. <laughs> That's right, I love you. Aww. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, you'll walk out to a uh, small park area. 
Uh, Dreamo, worried. could you stop staring at me? I, I can't stand it. <laughs> what the hell, man? Your, your, your gaze is just piercing. I'm just looking around. What's your problem? Well, I'm, I'm uncomfortable, okay? All right, then I'll just wait in the back. <laughs> as you Dreamo, move... it's okay. I don't know what's got over Kopi co like that. Uh, as you move through uh, the sort of like park area, you'll begin to hear the slight echoes of, of talking off to the north. One of the voices is deep and gruff and sounds a lot like that Captain Ironside. But you don't know what's being said. It sounds like it's off in the distance. Uh, off in the distance to like northish or like uh, to from the this building to the right? I'd say to the northeast. Northeast. Okay. So it sounds like it's coming from from through the building. Okay. There's more people maybe over here. Okay. Who's okay. the sneakiest of us? Maybe they can eavesdrop. You well, told me very light on his You told me not to look at you. What? I was talking to Tonto, not you. Oh. Maybe QB could spy on them. Cubie's yeah, yeah. Mm. Cubie said there's some people ahead and you're really sneaky. Do you think you could try and spy on them? I'll sneak on them. Yeah, I can do it. Uh, can uh, I do that thing where I uh, uh, cloak myself? Pa's going to wild shape into a turtle. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I totally forgot about wild shape. Damn it. Okay, give me one second. I actually have one. Uh, this one. Turtle. What thing were you doing, Laura? Hmm? What thing uh, were you doing? Um, 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 I was gonna cloak myself. Oh. Alright. Oh, from the mist? Yes, go ahead and do a uh, stealth check. Apparently, okay, I do not have a turtle stat block. That is weird. So instead, I'm just gonna shrink you down really small like you're a turtle. <laughs> Oh, He's a tiny great. turtle. Yeah, oh, can can you hear him speak when you're in wild shape? Can't I? No, I, I, you can't. You, you cannot. Can't. You become the animal. <laughs> we just hit. <laughs> yeah, we just hit. Like... <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Lovely. He's better off this way. Someone Wait, pick I, him up. I think it was a turtle the whole okay. time. Now you can, can ride like on pet? my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, do the shoulder thing. How he seems to like it. Maybe Dreamo would like it. <laughs> Maybe we should put him on Arty and he can, like, mechanize. Oh, that's a better idea. Around. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Wait. Get in the Arty. mech. Beep, 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 beep. Make sure you respond to his commands. And he starts picking up the turtle. Get in the robot, Remo. Get in the turtle. Get in the mech. Struggling as much as a turtle can. Yeah. Huh? Just puts... The turtle right on top of Artie. <laughs> it's hard to know if the turtle's actually like responding to us or if it's just a turtle. Layton steps forward ahead of uh QB and opens his hat, like takes his hat off, and Scrum appears and starts to skittle around all over the place. You see this tiny <gasps> little like octopus, like this Scrum. little this little kraken hatchling is just sort of like circling around the area. Scrum, go hide in the bushes next to the door. Uh, and you'll watch as, yeah, Scrum will, you're saying like over here? Yeah. Okay. Do we have or like over here, whatever, whatever it is, just whatever, yeah. without getting caught. Okay. Am I invisible now? Uh, go ahead and make a. Did you roll still? Oh yeah, you're you're you're. Uh, that's your self check. So you're. It's not that you're invisible, um, but you're just very well hidden. Kopi will act like she doesn't see Q. Q Kubi, I, I hear your voice, but I don't see you. Kubi <laughs> is very happy by this. As you just watch as this thing just starts climbing a little bit in the bushes. Are octopuses known for their movement on land? Yes, um, small ones are. Yeah, they're really? pretty good. Yeah. They're crazy. Octopuses are so cool. And this definitely yeah, doesn't like look cool. like an octopus. Uh, it looks a little, little foreign-ish. 
Mm. Bro, like haven't you seen the 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 second Nemo movie? Come on. Oh yeah, oh, true. Right. I based Dory. my worldview off of Finding Dory. <laughs> Finding um, Dory, yes. yeah. Uh, the so documentary Finding Dory. They did find it. QB, what are you doing? Um, she's kind of crawling around the outside and seeing if there's any like walls she could climb up to kind of peek inside. Um, you do see the windows and in, inside. Oh, okay. I don't see any. I don't see any people inside. There's a door on the other end. <gasps> oh, what do you think? Guys, should I go inside? Uh, do it. Just might be, be careful. To go alone. Yeah, careful, careful. Luna, I got your back. If you are in trouble, let me know. Okay. We'll bust the door down. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll go with her and make sure she's okay. Okay. Um, Scrum, stay with them. Stay close. And as he just watches this thing, just is just chasing after QB. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Okay. Come on, octopus. It blinks its one eye at you. <laughs> okay, I guess she kind of starts going in and like crawling around under things and trying not to make a scene. You'll oh. hear as Scrum just like tackles into these crates and just, <laughs> and just starts hiding and grabbing a bunch of cups and trying <gasps> to like drink stuff. Scrum, what did you find? Is it good f to take? <laughs> Throws a cup at the other side of the <laughs> as it like falls <laughs> off the floor. Um, Can I do a check to see if I hear... Oh, oh wait, I have... Do I hear people on the other side? Yes. Okay, can I do um message to like hear? Uh you what can't do saying? it to hear, but you can uh, roll a perception check if you like. Oh, okay. Message okay. lets it lets you give a message, not hear a message. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, uh check percep perception check? Yes, please. Yeah. All right. Uh, from where you're at, the voices are muddled, um, but you can hear that of Ironside. That make you. If you'd like to oh. try and hear more, though, you'll have to go through the door. <sighs> um, okay. Can I just slowly open the door? Like, really, like, crack it open? Sure. Okay. Oh. And as okay. the do door opens, go ahead and make another perception check. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, now with the door open, you can hear a little better, but also see through the window um, are pirates moving around. Uh, this apparently is some sort of docked area. Uh, and then you would see slowly hulking over is uh, Iron as uh, Ironside, who seems to be walking around as well. And you're just kind of hearing him lightly say off in the distance. All right, pack everything up. Town's not going to be standing for much longer. <gasps> okay. QB quickly gets uh, and then you'll, you'll And then you'll and then you'll hear. Take the offering as well. Governor Tenebron will be disappointed if he doesn't have a sacrifice. Oh no. Is it talking about your boyfriend, Luna? Maybe. Okay, so I guess they'll head out and they'll grab Scrum first and they'll take all the food on this table. <laughs> and. <laughs> the priorities. <laughs> you'll just hear that. You just kind of hear everything. You'll, wa <laughs> you'll watch this so QB good. walks in with. We are in a dream, by the way. <laughs> Bunch of soups and plates of bread. Steal the dream food. Oh! <laughs> it's weird that we're treating the dream down. room like a hotel room, and we're like trying to take out as much yeah, as we can yeah, from yeah, the yeah. mini fridge. Okay, everybody, I I borrowed a lot of food. Also, <laughs> borrowed. Um, borrowed. <laughs> Iron Iron Man, and he <laughs> says that they are going to leave the town, and it might be blown up. I don't know if he said blown up, oh. but that is how I interpreted it. That's and they're taking Nicholas. Um, <clears throat> that he said that 
their home. Maybe after they leave, there is not going to maybe be a town left. Ah. Okay, so we bust in and stop him. Let's go. Okay. You don't want to eat the bread first? Uh, Olive grabs a piece of bread. <laughs> he he shoves bread. it in her mouth. Layton would take one as well. Layton, Layton picks up uh, Tantu and Howie, puts them on his shoulders, and but, and grabs a grabs Scrum, puts Scrum in his front pocket, grabs a <laughs> bottle of wine, starts chugging, and starts <laughs> chasing him. <laughs> Load it up. <laughs> Load up. Amazing. And he's already like waddling over here. You tear Primo's through just the door. Freaking out on the back of this thing. He doesn't know how to unwild <laughs> shape. Yeah, Iron, every Iron, Layton comes in and goes, Ironside, I've been. Wow. Robert, Everyone's he, like staring at you through the windows. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally <laughs> bouncing. <laughs> what the, the fuck? Uh, oh, Layton, nice <laughs> Layton thinks that Ironside was there, so Layton comes to the window, bre breaks the window, steps Shh. through the window. <laughs> uh, this is the window because it's already broken over here. <laughs> breaks in the window. Ah, Ironside, it's good to see you again. What the fuck are you doing? What? Where's the boy? Uh, so everyone, so this is a stick up. Everyone's just torn through the window, right? Like you're gonna watch as all the pirates go over there. And Ironside is sort of, hold on one second. So Ironside's just like looking, first of all, flabbergasted at the sudden party of people that had just busted through a window, and started pointing the hands. And then he'll blink for a second look and says, <laughs> Layton, is that you? <laughs> you old dog. <laughs> and as he pats the cart, uh, you'll see the kicking of the uh, the, the potato sack. Nicholas. N now I'm, uh, I'll give you the same offer we gave her. Always willing to make a trade. And he looks over at Layton for it. A trade, huh? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Brett, what's the trade? <laughs> you don't know what the trade is. Um, he'll say, mm -hmm. he exchanged himself for her. You can always exchange yourself for him. I'm sure <sighs> Governor Tenebron would appreciate that very much. Layton, Layton, Layton looks at Ironside and goes, what did you call me? Uh, Tenton Brom? That is the worst insult I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Our governor, Tenebrom. How do you well, not? I... He looks around like a, like flabbergasted by this. Look, I, I don't know who governs what. I am a captain of a ship. Uh, Howie over there is a captain of a ship. Hello. Uh, <laughs> you I'm don't a even captain have... of a farm. See, we have a, we have a uh, one would call a farmer over here. We're all captains of everything. I don't know what a tenda bomb is, but whatever you say it is, I have no interest. Just give us back the boy. <laughs> um. <clears throat> so uh, this is where we'll pause uh, as everyone's moving up. Sorry, I, I'm still on his shoulder. I just, yeah, I'm getting, uh, no. we're getting dragged with oh, him. Oh yeah, no, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> you guys are like right over here. And he just shakes his he shakes his head a little bit and says, You're not gonna go ahead. You're not gonna get that boy. Because if I arrive empty-handed, it's me who'll be tossed off the Tower of Divinity. No, if you want him, you're gonna have to go through me. And then he kind of assumes this sort of like sumo like like stance. Uh, as he just is about to throw fists over with Leighton and the uh, the rest of you, Leighton Leighton starts to cackle and just goes, <laughs> "Oh, Ironside, you don't want to do round two with good old Leighton, do ya?" And Leighton uh, Immortal starts to float from his from his like back, and Leighton's eyes start to Tonto will immediately green. jump off. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is going on? Uh, what have you been dragged into? All right. Uh, so uh, I will be rolling. He's not. Oh, go on. No, go on. QB steps up and says, 
He's not your boyfriend. He's Luna's boyfriend. As she points to life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get side. him. <laughs> Tell him. Can we stop with the exchanges? Can we just steal the boy back? I mean, come on. <laughs> How hard could it be to steal? It's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> and that is where we will uh, stop today's uh, session uh, with our next session being against uh, Dream Ironside. And that's going to be a whole session in itself. So, stay Dude, you, that was a perfect that. opportunity for you to call him Nightmare Ironside, but Night you call him Dream Ironside. What do you mean, Nightmare Ironside? I also want to emphasize because we we're in a dream and he's evil, we man. We call this yeah. the dream world, but it's more of like a memory world. Yeah, it's a memory yeah. world. Yeah. Yeah. But it has, yeah, I'm it falls sure that's just Coined the dreamscape the dream world. Yeah, you're yeah. right. <laughs> it's just the dreamscape worming away in. It's fucking with us. <laughs> okay, Dreamo. Um, I don't have to take this. But, uh, yeah, session today. And, uh, Gerard, also thank you for stopping by. Will we be able to see you next week? Yeah, I'll be here next week. Yeah! It would be so yeah. funny if you just if you just challenge that guy to a duel and, and then, then left. Just and disappear. Then disappeared. <laughs> I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> like, roped us My into this. My crew is going to beat you up. Yeah, guys, <laughs> guys, this guy sucks, so I'm going to get I'm gonna peace out for this one. You guys, good luck. <laughs> All right. Well, let us get uh, a little bingo and a little fan art. Sound good with you guys? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's been a, it's been a minute. So I'll go ahead and share screen. Do, 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 do. I think this is the screen. Yes. All right, you all should, you got all should be able to see. And we will check out the bingo. Okay. Life, death, and in between. Oh, I like that. I like that title. All right, let's see what we got. Yes. Uh, QB wall climbs. Yep. Uh, right up. Uh, <laughs> right <laughs> right up. Uh, Layton talks about his family, Pirates Forever. Uh, did Layton mention anything about that, would you say? I think he said he was trying to find us. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll count that. QB happily recounts something horrifying. <laughs> horrifying. For, for I... Yeah. Would yeah, you bring up something was, about the something. cow? Something about a cow dying. Oh, I lost a cow in a gamble. Yeah, cow gambling. Yeah, that's cow gambling. Yeah. Olive enters hamster mo uh, ball mode again. No. no. Diplomacy wins no. again. No. The Knights of no. Tenebrum appear. No. Remo and Orkopi try to what? wrestle late. No. no. Oh, yeah, missed so opportunity. For, the, for yeah. those of you guys that don't know, uh, Captain Layton is a professional wrestler. And so uh, he's always trying uh, to wrestle people or teach oh, people yeah. how to wrestle. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, he's more of a wrestler than than a monk. So yeah. Yes. Huh. Uh, QB uses ice knife for the first time. Nope. The party oh. reaches Gover Governor no. Tenebrom's uh, tower. No, Layton actually has no idea why he's in the memory amalgamation. <laughs> yes. No. Well, I mean, he I did kind of, I did kind of say that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, he doesn't that, even know he's in it. Yeah, he, he doesn't know he's in it. Realize, yeah. So deflected. it's not even no idea why. He's just he doesn't just, know. He doesn't we'll, know yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll count. <laughs> we'll count. Uh, lore for the new gods of Io. No, another memory fragment down. No. Hey, Gerard, oh. big fan. Happy to have you. Blush. Aww. Blush. Mm -hmm. uh, get that. Get back, Bingo Duck. Uh, Layton <laughs> recognizes Luna's connection uh, to QB. Yes. Uh, someone back talks the god of death. Probably Remo. Yes. Uh, someone in the party changes from form. Tantu's eldritch form excluded. Yes. I turned into a turtle. You're now a turtle now. Well, Layton... I'm a turtle and then I'm a turtle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a turtle <laughs> turtle. You're regressing, yeah. Yeah, Leighton brings I'm up... evolving. Leighton brings up pickles or, or sees yes. a bit of all. Yep. Uh, I feel so lot. I feel way too seen yeah, on that one. That was, right. that was a little... That was a very niche one. I didn't expect like that. Yeah, sometimes that's how yeah, it is. Guys. They, they know stuff. They know they, know, they, they, know. they, they it, write the script, actually, and we just have yeah. to go. That's a great idea, and I write it down, yeah. Uh, combo attacks with Leighton. No. Uh, Brolvek recognizes or suspects Leighton as the god of death before he reveals himself. If he does, no. The Shadow or Half Orc speaks to the party. No. One of the PCs changes yeah. into their memory counterparts. Yes. Tantu asks the god of death about his family. <laughs> Oh, fucking oh, hell. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, yes, though. Oh, boy. Fuck. That one, See you yes. next week, man. That is a yeah. that one. All right. Drinking you know, RP you, continues. Gerard probably doesn't know, but Absolutely. our entire campaign started with uh, Brett just murdering my entire village. So, it, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're like, hey, little one, what's your backstory like? 
All trauma. My are dead. <laughs> it's <laughs> trauma all, all, the way way all the way down. No, actually, yeah. Every, oh, and I carry the I, I carry the petrified face of my dead father. That's a, that's <laughs> oh a, my god, dude! Yeah, it's really normal. It's well, awesome. it's just yeah, but, yeah, but he's cute and fluffy. Dude. Yeah, cute. yeah. Oh, people draw fan art of him dropping his ice cream cones. It's and so like, sad. <laughs> it's so it's messed up. up. <laughs> what about final is me being sad? It's yeah. Yeah. No, there's been some happy ones. They're only remembering the sad ones. <laughs> they stand out. <laughs> uh, more stressed parent RP from Remo. Uh, no, he's a senile grandpa now. So, <laughs> no. no. Welcome no. to the club, buddy. I think right. my intelligence side graded, <laughs> and I got more wise, if anything. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. What's your wisdom? I think it went from 14 to 18. Oh, yeah, but you all were always able to see ghosts, so we're good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, like that. All right, fan art time. Yeah. I'm sure one of these fan arts will be a very happy Tonto, but first. <laughs> <laughs> I like that yes. a lot. Yes, yes, thank you so much. That's Love it. So proportions good. Like the proportion, yeah, the proportions on the eyes and the eyes and such. Hey, yo. Ah. I Whoa, love the style. I love cool. the style. Yeah. Story de Arukushito. Oh, is that Howie? <laughs> yeah. And... All of oh them. Yeah, yeah. Your arms? That's so cool. Oh that's gosh. awesome. I love that. Oh my that's gosh. Amazing. That is Thank damn. You, I'm like weaving out. Aww. and Tonto. Oh, that's really cute. It is. Uh oh. No. Oh. Oh, oh my god, oh. terrifying. Oh. I love that so, so much. So scary. Oh. The way the pictures oh. burning and shit yep. through. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. There we go. But wait, what the? That's not. That's the wrong campaign. How'd that get in there? <laughs> Sorry, hold on. I was I like, I, no, I see, I don't recognize the characters. Yeah, no, but I like maybe there's a reference here I don't get. Yeah. No, like a little don't. sloth creature on someone's ankle. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. I'll just go with <laughs> the cute one. Ah, How's that's that okay. That's what happened. Yeah, there was some mix up there. Okay, cool. So now we go over here. <clears throat> now we go over here. Sometimes Discord, like when I try to go to a link, it goes like halfway to the link. It's like, yeah, it's like around here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Jamal. Oh, it's me. That's cute. adorable. Cute. Yep, just the rackling party over here. Oh. <laughs> it's Tonto on the left. Yeah. Yeah. I've watched the other campaigns, where the other two are fucking unhinged. <laughs> but one of them's literally like, yeah, one of them's oh. literally an Eldritch monster. Oh, yeah, there you go. And one of them's you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a milf yeah. man. I love fighting. <laughs> That's a shirt. That's a shirt. Amazing. That's a good Aww, shirt. Cute. Yeah, that's good. cute. Oh, I love that style. It's almost yeah, like, that's really cool. It's almost like Final Fantasy twelve ish. Crystal Chronicles. Era. Right. Crystal yeah. Chronicles. Yeah. 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 Magic yeah. vibes. Okay. I love that style. That's really cool. Hey. Oh there hell he yeah. Is. Hey. A bushy beard. Bring him back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Luna. So sweet. Oh, Bearbot made this. Look at this. Oh, hey, that's cool. Oh, oh that's damn. Cool. Oh. Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. <clears throat> <laughs> the drawing of Pico. That's oh. cute. <laughs> and there he is. Look at him. Oh, there yeah. He is. Quah. Right. Has he got Quah. a tree on his head? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah. Wait, what, is, oh. what does his normal voice sound like? Just a low. I don't deep remember voice. any kind of southern just, accent. Yeah, just no, there's just no southern, southern twang. No, I, thought that was, I thought the blend between the two was awesome. That was great, dude. Joke, the, right? the hardest thing about you doing that is that you sound so much like Crendor. It was breaking my mind. Oh my time. god, oh. that's so funny. <laughs> Maybe that's oh, true, actually. actually. I, actually I didn't even think about that. Man, 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 man. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, say Tandoori Chicken in the Quarimo voice. Tandoori Chicken. <laughs> it's pretty close. It's pretty it's close. Condor. Well, we, uh, we're going to end on that curse note, but thank you guys so much. Uh, that shook me my core. Uh, Gerard, thank you so much. It's so good to have you back and DMing you again. It's been such yeah. a delight. And, my pleasure, man. Thanks for having me. And then, uh, yeah, we'll come back. This is a great week. time. Yeah. Good times. Uh, and we'll see you guys next week. Thanks again. Hey, bye. Bye. Okay, bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 bye.